Good morning, everybody, and welcome to another wonderful day here on the Double G Streams. And today, we're going to be playing some, well, not this Pokemon. This Pokemon. Area Zero. Going to explore that out. See what's up in there. And I guess try to discover if that's, if that's technically considered main game or post game. I don't even know. But, uh... Yeah, I'm just gonna try and spend a most spend a whole day of Pokemon here. So, uh, yeah, got our Ampharos, got some beverage, gonna have some tea, iced tea. I know it's probably cardinal sin to anybody from the the island across the pond, but it's delicious. You should try. It. And let's get started. Cheers to the weekend. Happy weekend. A nice Friday cold outside with a light snowfall right now here in Pittsburgh this February 3rd. Magic the Gathering later tonight. Frixia All Will Be One pre-release, or I guess now just the regular old release. Did you just watch Penny zoom in there? You just watch her just... Zoom. <laughs> okay, that was kind of funny. Not, not gonna lie. I'm glad, I'm glad the game captured that. The way my Pokemon is, it is a tad light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right here in this zone. With this super fantastic song. It's actually coming across rather quiet. Ganlon. That's not cool. That's probably not her Riken Lawn. I I almost never saw my mom my entire life. Oh, is it time for Baxter reveal? Penny shh! She was always busy with work, hardly ever came home. I cooked for myself, cleaned for myself. Mavistiff was the only one there for me. So yeah, I don't really know her at all, even if she is my mom. I tried not to think too much about it, tried to just be proud that she was a pure genius, but the truth is, I would have just rather had a mom who was there, even if she wasn't that great. I haven't seen her for ages now, unless you count. Oh, it's going too fast for me. I used to email sometimes. Oh, uh, but... We're not here to judge or anything. I'm, I'm sorry about earlier, I shouldn't have snapped at you like that. Nah, uh, I was also giving you a hard time. Sorry, uh... Penny, my name's Penny. You know, you're actually pretty nice for a little pipsqueak. <laughs> Don't call me pipsqueak, you big lunk. That's the spirit, you two. Oh, OTP! <laughs> you help the decks? Probably will at some point. That might that might be something we'll start trying to do, uh... If, if Area Zero is technically the post-game itself, not just part, like, a, the latest part of the the main game, because normally you get, like, some rolled credits after doing the champion uh, championship stuff. You, you know, you, you do the Elite Four, you beat the champion, and, like, that's typically credits roll right there. But we didn't get that. So I'm, like, I'm a bit confused. Like, okay, so is Area Zero more, like, you know, main game or, or post-game? I don't know. It feels weird. Cause you don't get you normally you wouldn't in previous Pokemon games or at least the first two generations you wouldn't get your post game until you actually you know got the credit scene then something is unlocked somewhere yeah I would say that that area zero is like the end game but not the post game the end game of the main anyways all, all the all the all those words aside I was gonna say that um I still gotta go get the four legendaries and yeah then I can do some dex hunting why the heck not I've actually been enjoying filling up the decks. I always enjoy filling up the decks, even if I've never completed one, so. <clears throat> yeah, poor Arvin. I just wanted my mom to be there, man! This game is your first completed decks? Nice. Congrats on that. Oh, 
I want to say that this this particular Pokemon game is probably the best to complete the decks in. Speaking of, I do need a Halucha. This is the front of my team. Ooh, I hope this will destroy the Halucha. Oh, considering my level, though, it might. I'm gonna try, though. Hopefully it's not too much. Hmm, alright. Because oh, a normal. Halucha, here. <laughs> She's nasty. Let's give you something you can't beat. Partially fast. I'd probably use a physical attack and then make it a little faint itself. I'm gonna go for it. Certain paradox mods only appear after the credits. You think that are indeed right? Hearing this bass, like a, like a bass, or hearing this bass, I said bass. Hearing the bass slap, it's like a bass player. The, the the bass slapping in this song is sweet. I don't know, I've never really given it a try. Maybe maybe it would be really good at, at base. I oh, got paralyzed, that's gonna help. And I'll take some damage too. Alright, come on, Halucha. Eating the ball. And stay there. Got it. <laughs> Halucha. Wrestling Pokemon. Its elegant finishing moves. It performed by nimbly leaping around using its wings are polished in the forest where it was born and raised. <laughs> Which I nickname. Yes. Oh, I know a lot of people are going to get this one, but it's like, I think this should fit. Yeah, it just fits. Can't can't put on like double exclamation points or anything, but it fits. <laughs> Operator electric depends on. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So I have to. I, I have a good, an acoustic guitar at home, and I have to start picking that up and trying that out. You know, I've got that, but I have not had the chance to start trying it. So I'd like to try that, and then maybe I can get like a bass, maybe even a bass acoustic. Do those, is that, do those exist? And like, a bass acoustic? <laughs> and maybe I can get some sort of bass guitar and start trying that too. It's this, it's the same same strings without the thinner two, huh? Without the, without the higher two notes, it's just those four strings. Got it, got it. That would, that makes it, that does make it quite, quite simple and, you know, such an easier transfer over. So yeah, yeah, I gotta, I'll work on that, but I wanna, you know what, I wanna give bass a try now, so. <clears throat> Ascending E, D, G. E, A, D, G. Pepsi. Maybe maybe this won't be the string for notes. Hold on my notes. Eh. But it's ending E A D G. Okay. I just don't <laughs> that well. Oh, maybe it'll come running back when I should try some training in. So I was looking at this. It's um
I haven't visited a Pokemon stop either since I have, uh, since I've beaten the champion, so I don't have the, uh, stat checker thing yet. I think probably needs a special attack reduced for higher special defense or something. Boost the speed set if the hell item is used or lost. That's interesting. Sending in fifths or power cords. No, no, no. Nah, nah, nah. You can go back for people maps have teleporters. Oh, right, right. I don't have a chancy. The chance is just like, nope! Okay, okay, Jancy. Ooh, I need to buy some revives. Yeah, really. Thunder Wave and a Citrus Berry. Sweet. Why would you just try to catch a Talon Flame? That chance he left, that chance he said, oh, no way. Acrobatics? Of course you deserve, you deserve better. Oh, that cry, I hear that way too much in uh, Pokemon Unite. There we go, boy, Talonflame Unite move, here we go. Talonflame Ultimate. So I'm just expecting that ball to work well on the flying. As well. Not just bug and water, but eh. Town thing. Why you gotta be a good Well, that's gonna help a lot. Oh, please don't have off your speed. didn't die. Thank <laughs> that Rocky Helmet! That's coming handy. That's really coming handy. I should probably swap, though. Just in case it breaks free again and attacks. Eep. Just for safety. Let's bring in Azura. We'd give some base tips, but you're a beginner. Understandable. Hey, at least you're always willing to give those tips. Arvin, what you doing? Look at Arvin over there. He's like, yeah! That's a bird! You know what I'd do with that bird? I'd make a tasty sandwich out of it! Prepare the meat just right and spice it. And a little Herba Mystica, you've got yourself a fantastic sandwich. Alright. What if that completes the flushing line? Talon Flame. Scorching Pokemon. It has top notch flying capabilities. It flies around easily, even when carrying prey that weighs more than 220 pounds. Mm -hmm. Send a box. I so oh, I might have start clearing on my box. Oh, I gotta get fl Fletch Ender. Oops. Braviary. Uh, yeah, let me check my boxes, because they're probably pretty filled. Boxes are wreck. 
Well, apparently mine is too. nature probably needs to have like less speed and more I don't know defense or special defense or something probably special defense oh it's zero so I'll probably choose like this one give it a berry or something then I can just adjust its nature. Yo, Savage, it's going pretty good. How about you? You didn't use a Rua? Actually, uh, no, I don't. <laughs> don't actually. You gave me a Zerua before. That or I caught it. I actually don't remember. No, but I got the Zeru stuff. You give us some support in Hizu and Hizu. Right? Yeah, when's the, the, whenever the, the Pokemon Home app support is coming, it's uh, going to be interesting to see. You have a whole box of Zeru. <laughs> but you're doing good? Nice. Nice, nice. Ready for that weekend? Bam, it's the weekend time, right? Uh, I forget what I was trying to do with this. This here, Eevee. Oh, yeah, make it an Umbreon or something now, because I have, we have this Sylveon here. Uh, and I get a Jilteon. Yay! You can get in the corner. This is a mix of like ghost, ghost fire poisons up here. Interesting team. Uh, now, Zerua is a. Uh, unless you're asking about like you know what what is Zerua? Zerua is like the unevolved form of Zoroark. to get as many Zeru as you could have the two of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, hmm. Hard to say. First or second form? Probably just the first form. Time to release the husband. Actually, not to get a good late, I have to level that one up. You stay because. I can just. level up some of these. So if I just get, like, some experience point stuff. I don't think cloth evolves or anything, so you can head out. There's so many things I have here that I just need things to evolve. And experience McPoints. Do I have a Doug Trio at some point? I don't know. Tartar, there you are. Drew's best. 
They worry about box space? Not too much. But I'm just like, hmm. What can I what can I bother releasing? What should I bother holding on to? Mind you that I'm releasing some of these Pokemon right now in the area zero, so they're probably not gonna survive. <laughs> Wonder trade? Ah, oh, I didn't think of that. Yeah, I could, I could, but I also don't want to fill Wonder trade up with some random Pokemon. But that could, that could give me some, some things that are version exclusive. It's always a possibility. Not, not all these are bad. This particular one's pretty decent and unique. So yeah, I could, I could do that. Helps with the decks. Yeah, you know what? That's a good idea. I'll hold on. To, I'll save. I'll save on to that for right now. I still got box and a half. So. Cause I'm just not used to the idea of the, the wonder trade yet. You know. That is a big venom off. Traffic wanted when it's opportunity. Mm. <clears throat> we'll be feeling one to trade with Zarua's. Ah, uh, that makes sense. You're not keen on, on Wonder Trade either. I don't know what it is. I guess I'm just too too shy to attempt it. I'm just like, eh, yeah, I guess. Um, I'm being meek about it. But hey, you you got some encouragement from a friend and you stepped up and used it and it's... Well, it's lived up to its name. It's done wonders for your decks. So... I will have to join in on that. I doubt it's going to use any physical moves. So we'll try it. We'll try that. What's up, Sylveon? What's up? Okay, let me go heal. Let me go over to the, uh... Put center real quick. There's no one that wants to get one man's trash and one man's trash. You're... You got a point, you got a point. Hey, so when you ready for that weekend? Poison. Did not just get that. Let's have to go for it then. I need Valiant for you. For your deck. Okay, yeah, you know what? Got a point. Not for men's trash, but men's trash. <laughs> that that's that's true. The in, the inverse is can be can be just as true as well. We you try to use it's like a half glass full, half glass empty kind of a kind of a view to it. <clears throat> Venomoth, poison moth Pokemon. The wings are covered with dust-like scales. Every time it flaps its wings, it loses. It loses highly toxic dust. No. It's in a box. <clears throat> Pine Cove. There's a, there's, a, there's a shiny like right in the door. Did everyone just stand around when my character rested? <laughs> I wonder if my mom ever worked here. I want to check out the other rooms, but the doors are busted, so yeah, this is going great. Looks like you can get a decent rest on the bed here if you and your team get tired. Although, it looks kind of mildewy. To doors. You, what's on the floor? Hmm.
Those letters don't exactly remind me of the unknown. Yeah, stay away from Venomoth. <clears throat> exactly. Caution, do not do not pet your own Venomoth. <laughs> do not do it. You might need gloves. I think that's something they do in the anime anyway, so. Yeah, looking at the floor, I'm, I'm trying to think, is that just the shape of just is that just the shape of the crater or is that the shape of all Paldea? Ninja here, yeah. This stuff is interesting because it's not exactly unknown shapes, you know. It kinda makes me wonder. I wonder, I wonder if there's been any way people have been able to try to transcribe that yet. G-Max Drugs. Drugs. Does... And then we get the, uh... If I finish the champion art, I can get the, um... The... The... the, the something rate? Thing, my Bob. I think that shows you IVs and all that. I'm just gonna go collect that before I forget about it. I'm like, oops. Even though, like, I just healed them. Go ahead and heal them. I'm really gonna wonder why I don't can't get the check yet. I'm just gonna go have the Avenger. So how low of a level are you? 31? Yeah, tell tell Giovanni I said hello. What's in here though? Definitely not the armor uh, armor robe. Teleport you all the way up here. Now, I'm trying to talk to them outdoors. See what they say. please. It won't. Oh, there it is. You, you arrived. Thanks. Why are there so many Venomoth? Where'd that Chansey go? Hey, 
Hey, you get down here. You're back. Welcome back. Three, three, nine and a half a pull. Perfect for your decks. Oh, these things are getting pretty hard down here. Oh, you know what? I didn't buy stuff while I was up there. I didn't buy any revives or things. Oh, I'm dumb. Alright, I'll just do <laughs> the next teleporter. Alright, change your after because we're watching this. <clears throat> Try again. There we go. Ah, hydration. Braviary. Valiant Pokemon. The more scars they have, the more respect these brave soldiers of the sky get from their peers. Pretty simple explanation. Didn't you? Everything smells like teeth. I'd imagine so. And for those of you wondering, uh, Jocelyn had a bit of an art project going on today where she had a fresh, like, freshly printed, like, uh, nautical looking, nautical chart, and she used actual tea, actual tea bags to stain it, and then, uh, um, Dab that on there, brush it up a bit, and now it looks like a like a really weathered treasure map. It looks really, really cool. But I can imagine how the uh, the side effect would be. I, I could see how it would uh, the side effect would be getting the tea smell every <laughs> everywhere after it dries, even after it dries. Yeah. How did you spend your afternoon? Well, I spent it squishing tea bags. <laughs> like squishing tea bags. Okay. Well, I spent it dabbing some tea bags. You're talking about a video game, right? Jump club. Try again and clap for yeah. Eat. Okay, so we can't do that. No jump. Second floor. Yes, I destroyed. If it's if it's also flying, then yeah, that's quad and that, that's bad. Yeah, four times weakness is just auto death. So I was just thinking, well, I know I know it's gonna have the grass ice weakness, but um, didn't realize it also. No, you were supposed to use U-turn and get static. Work now because it has way too high of a health. Helmet. Wish 
No, I just can take one more hit from the Rocky Helmet. Uh, we'll have to swap it out. This would be best. Swap on out! You did a fine job. Alright man, you have a good one. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again real soon. Have a great rest of your day. Jumpluff, cottonweed Pokemon. Jumpluff travels on seasonal winds. Once its cotton spores run out, its journey ends, as does its life. Oh. Well. I got surprisingly tired. <laughs> I was like, well, yeah, I guess it makes sense. Cycle of life and all that, but, huh. I like how they, they allude to, like, some Pokemon have lifespans. Flying steel. The usual strategy, just let them let them hit uh, Ampharos. I always I should want to say Lithros now, but it's an Ampharos. Let them actually hit the Ampharos, get the static, get the full of extra damage. And not even crit it, wow. If I rock helmet, perfect. Didn't get static though. Interesting. To say that, that is pun intended one metal bird corvanite corvanite's pretty badass I'm not gonna lie not gonna lie about that i can see that it's been such a top-notch favorite pokemon since the last gen i don't think i have with basic Pokeball. Awesome. Crit. Critical catch. I keep using Slug. Alright. I think uh I think King Croc's at maximum attack values now. Flying Steel seems to be a pretty good type coverage. Um, 
basically makes forces you to use fire on a flying type. And that's its only main. That's its only main weakness, isn't it? You can't ground it because it's flying. Yeah, you can't use ground. You can't even use fighting because flying beats is the uh, the fighting half. So yeah, it's fire is like its only weakness. Interesting. That's tough. Yeah, yeah. Refuses to go down. I need like something like put it to sleep or use static or something. It just refuses to be caught. But it probably has a very low catch rate. Is gonna be my guess. <gasps> Damage for a recoil. <laughs> of course. All right. What I'm gonna do? There's another Corviknight around. We're gonna swamp and we're gonna swamp here. We're gonna heal up. It sure did. It sure did. There you go. Ooh, that's still too strong. Okay, uh, I guess it has a weak special attack. I'm sorry, weak. Weak special defense against the special attack. I keep getting new chances, so that's good. I can't use discharge though, so that that kind of sucks. I'm ner too nervous to eat berries. <laughs> Such a weird ability. So steel does not stop it from. Okay, so you can still electrify it. It makes sense because, you know, I have metal being a superconductor of electricity that it wouldn't actually inhibit lightning. I'm just going to try this. Hmm, actually wasn't that bad. Okay, hurt by the rocky you know. Damage by recoil. It once again it did not receive paralysis, and I guess it has to be its steel half just can't be paralyzed or something. But I guess sometimes static just doesn't take effect. Got unlucky both times. I don't really know. If it uses Brave Bird again, that would be a bit. Hey, that was perfect. Put you in the heal ball, right? Heal you up. Right as rain. Okay, it doesn't want to be healed. No! That darn Brave Bird. Brave Bird plus Rocky Helmet. Not, not a good combo. <laughs> not a good combo for catching these things. That is unfortunate. <laughs> oh, shed a tear. Giraffe rig. You're a tiny giraffe rig. You're you're smaller than usual. I guess we'll go for it. Oh, I'm the dollar and Sidemen want it. <laughs> sure, sure, if you, don't, if you don't need it. You can 
frame it or something. Be like, hey, here's something from the other aisle. All right, that thing, that flower went down. Corviknight. All right, let's go, Corviknight. Come on. Attempt number five. I'm gonna be crazy. So is it number four? Okay. Um. There we go, that took effect. Takes damage from Rocky Helmet, but I already take recoil. Yeah, it takes recoil. See, but now I use Fuse right now, just like, oh man, that's bad. That's very bad. <laughs> okay, well, maybe it won't use Braver yet, and it did. Oh no! <laughs> probably just have this one chance. Alright! I just don't need it. It's a dollar. Yeah, fair enough. Dollar don't get you much nowadays. And learn thunder. Thunder has low accuracy, right? Yeah, it's just like fire blast and hydro pump. Yeah, I did finally get it though. Whew! Okay, it is, it is especially cool looking. I gotta name it something. I gotta give it a nickname. It's a seven foot three bird. That is a big bird. I won't give you anything at all over here. Oh, is it like an American dollar? Or some other kind of dollar? Canadian dollar, maybe? Corviknight. Corviknight, Raven Pokemon. Corviknight can't serve as a taxi service in Paldea because the Pokemon's natural predators will attack it while it flies, endangering the customer. So that's why they use Squawkabillies. Its predators don't exist in uh, Galar. That's true. You guys do call it pounds. You know, you'd be like, oh, one pound, five pound. I was just thinking, I was still thinking that you're maybe using dollar as a simplification for, um, like the amount that you found for the other, for other viewers that might see that. But, uh, oh, okay, you're being literal. I should, I should have thought that one over. But, uh, yeah, I guess I guess I could I could use it here. I just received like a two dollar tip yesterday. And one more, maybe I can either play the lottery or uh, <laughs> go get a quick cup of Joe. Cup of Joe. Yes, you've got to have a nickname, but like what? You are. Reminds me of Batman. Batman. Uh, Corvid Knight. Hmm. Crow Man. <laughs> Oh no, it's a raven. It's a raven. It's not a crow. There's a big difference there. Significant difference there. Ra ravens are a tiny bit, tiny bit bigger, and they got bigger brains than uh, they got they got better brains than crows as well. I hear it can be kind of hard to distinguish the uh, the size between crows and ravens. If 
they're you know you don't see if they don't seem together but if you see them together they're like very noticeable difference we're going here um But I get what you meant, though. I do. I do get what you meant. I do get what you meant. You got like only got, like twelve characters to work with, too. Want something like super, like either metal or something to, to name this bird. Like just fit. It's kind of it's kind of pointless. It's like a uh, certain dark foul. <laughs> it's a little, a little too on the nose. I think I don't like it. You like it? All right, we'll go with it. Ooh, it's in the dark. It could have been like dusk, dusk foul. Just somewhere, anyways. It's a pretty decent defense in the special defense. It could actually reduce your special attack. Put it on something else. Alright, special defense. No, not right, outright attack. You got your high high IVs on the HP though. doesn't uh, die to ice and actually has a uh, resistance to fighting. Its weakness is like fire. It's so interesting. So interesting. But yeah, we'll send the box. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put the. Put this Corviknight to somewhere else. Make sure I put this Corviknight in my. Let's see where it ended up. Probably in box. Three, yeah. You're going over to box eight. I like you, Corviknight. We'll rename you. Or if I forget, oh well. <laughs> I see, they know there's a braviary above me. Actually, I don't even need to heal that much either. Sweet. Right, I'm gonna advance. I'll come back here for that, that flower. I have one of you. Oh, guard knuckle. Oh. Hopefully this won't be too much. Perfect. The problem is if it if it uh, touches me. That might spell the end for it. I guess I always can go for it. No! Super effective and didn't, like, do anything. Huh. took two tries. Whew. Close one. Got the Minecraft Pokemon. 
Carbon's burn close combat. Let's see here. What are the stats? I'm 20 percent, but it's physical. You're much more special attacker. I don't think you need it. I want, so I want a ground attack to replace over Bone Rush. But I doubt there's any special attack ground. Some of the extreme speed should go there or something. Darkenackle. Rock Salt Pokemon. Darkenackle will rub its fingertips together and sprinkle injured Pokemon with salt. Even severe wounds will promptly heal afterward. Hmm. They are literally putting salt on the wound, yeah. But it has like a healing salt. You'd expect it to kind of burn, but yeah. But they put salt in the wound because it heals them. Okay, okay. No. Send to box. Max <laughs> attack. All right, that completes that that line. Deep into the Crystal Valley. Long I wandered. Wandering. Shining. Gleaming. There'd definitely be some Pokemons over there. Pokey the Mans. Last time I came to the Great Crater, I was trying to go see my mom. I got about this far, then I got attacked by some kind of creature I'd never seen before. Really? What kind of Pokemon was it? It wasn't even like a Pokemon, more like this crazy, violent, rampaging sort of thing. You sure it wasn't just a Pokemon that's a little more, I don't know, rampagey than average? Yeah, I'm sure! It was like a completely different creature altogether! And it hurt Mabistiff real bad, so it's not like I just forget! I don't ever want to run to that awful thing again! It was that strong, huh? I really hope I get to see it! Ah, that's what I figured you'd say. You're real tactless sometimes, Demona. You know that? <laughs> meant to be uh, glanced over at this stage. Explored thoroughly after we because a lot of important ones don't appear right now. Oh, really, really, that makes sense. The one time I like wandering and meandering around won't won't help. They kind of want you to be all like, all right, let's go find the stations. They want you to stay focused on the task. No, it's a giraffe rig. The flower, the flower. As much as I like the giraffe. Something's running at me. Hey, research station. Kalucha. Only you can't jump down. 
or lose your friends or something like that. <laughs> friends are come. <laughs> what do you mean you don't need friends? <laughs> Cutscene time. A second research station. About time, too. <laughs> loading, loading. Phew, let's head in and take a breather. I thought you'd have a bit more stamina, student council girl. <laughs> I'm just full of surprises. That wasn't a compliment, you know. Hey, look, Jigglypuff. It's good to see some nice, familiar Pokemon down here, too. Oh my gosh, so cute! It's a pup. <laughs> what the? All right, Altio, it's battle time. I thought that was battle too, but yeah, uh, got her by surprise. Look at that uh, scream tail here. That's a wild design. You know what's weird? Kind of reminds me of Mewtwo's tail. Hmm. I wonder if we should take a look at other other Pokemon. That gives that gives me that 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 makes me think of Mewtwo's tail. I wonder if that's on purpose, or if it's just coincidence. I wonder if any of the other um, Paradox Pokemon have references to other, like, ancient legendaries or something. Although Mewtwo is a fabricated legendary based off Mew, you know, so. But I think, I think even Mew's tail is not as pronounced as that. So. Uh, the lighting just went, just went kaplow. Yeah, no, no more shadow, all light. Okay, um... We're fairy types, though. Try to make it damage itself. Ouch! Shrimp just got a high speed, huh? Or, or maybe just Ampharos is just that slow. It's funny to see, like, the, the shading go away sometimes. Oh, it's resting, of course. Let's look at a few free turns. Probably can defeat it by then. And that even critted. If any, you might want to try using, I don't know, something else. I think even Focus Blast should be weak, so maybe I shouldn't use it. Yeah, maybe a Doll Eyes while it's asleep is a good idea. Produce that attack if it wakes up and still... Store some tea here. I'll give this a try. Probably lost its confusion while being asleep. Yeah, okay, because of the effectiveness. 
But it's, it's not something that's not very effective due to Dark Pulse, so it's not a it's not a fairy type. Or is it? It's very beast, right? Better to just Oh wake up now. Yeah, there that is. Oh, I'm still confused. Okay, keep just Hurt yourself in your confusion. It used rest again! Save some for later. It's so delicious, though. This makes me the company my grandfather used to deliver for. Uh, Schneider's. My grandfather used to be a milkman for Schneider's. And, um, yeah. So, Schneider's milk and Schneider's tea is always a big part of my family. Let's set the tea aside. Do more stuff here because it's so good. Let's set this aside and focus on hydration sauce. Hydration sauce! Okay, yep, so it is still very tight. I'm not even surprised Dark Pulse was doing so well of damage and yet Focus Blast didn't. Seriously, what was that? Darn thing scared me half to death! It was definitely kind of ferocious for Jigglypuff, wasn't it? No kidding! Come on, let's get inside already. One more jump scare like that and I'm done for. Yeah, I can imagine that jump scare was a uh, heck of a thing. Well, this looks pretty much the same as the first research station. Seems like wild Pokemon don't come in here. We should be safe to catch our breath. Hey, seriously, what's with this place? That Pokemon? What's with this place? That Pokemon? I've been wondering about that myself. I think maybe that Pokemon was... One of these? Huh? What's that book? Watch this Area Zero. As we descended further into Area Zero, we began to catch glimpses of mysterious Pokemon. Though we wondered if these huge, ferocious beasts were indeed Pokémon at all. One of our teams suffered a brutal blow from such a beast and was mortally wounded, forcing us to retreat for a time. So, I, I, the mortally wounded person is maybe or maybe not related to the, the professors. Because the Scarlet Book's been around for a while. A member of the survey team captured this photography by chance. I noticed a passing resemblance to the Pokemon known as Dawnfan. Yet differences such as its sheer size and the shape of its back set it apart, as do its great tusks. Monsters is of Area Zero? So they aren't actually Pokemon? I don't really know. What do you think, Altio? I think they really are just Pokemon. Yeah, same. I mean, they look different, sure, but they use moves in battle just like the Pokemon we know. I suppose the time has come for an explanation. Professor? Some of the life forms that you see residing now within Area Zero are ancient Pokemon that lived in a distant past long lost to us. Ancient Pokemon? What? That's awesome! Oh, come on, there's no way that's possible. The Zero Lab, where I am located, contains a time machine. It summons the ancient Pokemon to this place. So the, so the thing my mom's been forever researching down here... She actually got it working? Indeed. 
the the cost was catastrophic. The cost? But a time machine? You mean you can actually travel to and from the past? It is theoretically possible to travel to the past. However, for a being such as a human, it would not be possible to return to the present. Well, that's horrifying. Mom, you... Why did you call us here to Area Zero? Arvin, I... If possible, I would like us to speak when we can meet face to face. It will be easier for you to understand once you can see the situation for yourself. Now then, Altia, please use the central panel here and disable another lock on my lab. Alright, the story the storyline is giving me the spooks. I'm just like, ooh. You heard the professor. Better press it. Two of the four locks are still active. Well done. Please continue your efforts at the remaining research stations. Hey, Altio. You know that book she told me to bring? I think it's got something to do with this place. Or more like everything to do with this place. But I'm not the one she expects to fix whatever all this is. You are. I think you should be the one to carry it. You obtain the Scarlet Book. You put the Scarlet Book in your bag's key items pocket. Scarlet Book, a record of the expedition that the author Heath went on within the Great Crater of Paldea. The book has the name Sada written on it in clumsy handwriting. Hmm. The name's... So that was like her copy. Take care of it for me, okay, LTO? Yeah, sure. Take care of that. Pretty important book, after all. Okay, so she actually recognized Arvin there. So, hmm. Your parents like Nimona. My parents? Normal, I guess. Are you serious? Even I don't even I know about your dad. He's on the board of the Rotom phone company. Wait, how do you know that? Everyone knows that he's famous, and I guess I looked into him for my own reasons too. So Nimona's actually some pampered little princess from a rich family? I guess you could say my mother and father were My big sister probably took over the business, so they pretty much let me do what I wanted. Wait, you call them mother and father? That is some pampered little princess stuff right there. Gah! Cayete, Penny! What is your family super normal then, huh? My my family is unbelievably annoying. Like, super over overprotective, you mean? It's just my dad. He's loud and clingy and makes me up weird nicknames for me like Pen Pen. He's the most annoying guy in the world, period. He's the worst. <laughs> and that's a real downer for your dad, having his own daughter describe him like that. Don't you dare take his side! Uh, Alzi, how, how about you? You must seem super nice. You met her? Yep, got a glimpse of an amazing looking sandwich she made too. Really wish I could have seen that, I bet it tasted great. Game almost here is easy. Alright, I'll be aware about that. But man, these conversations are great. Kind of wish I didn't pick up the thing so I didn't interrupt the conversation a bit. Oh. But alright, she has ties to the Rotom phone. Like, yeah, her, her father's Rotom phone company. Got it. Again for flow. So it's not very effective, but that defeated it last time. Complaining about her loving dad, the orphan, and he's a genius, right? And also complaining to 
not only to the orphan, but also I'm complaining about her loving dad because <laughs> to to Nimona, who hardly gets to see her parents because they're busy running a company. That explains why there were so many maids and attendants in, in her house. I'm like, okay, her family's pretty well off. When she has her parents who are like, almost never there. She doesn't even call them by like, you know, names. She just they're just straight up, you know, mother father. Um there's 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 about too, there's about too much. It's it's not like you even get like some mum mum and mum and dad or pa and ma or anything, you know, so she probably doesn't get the Mona doesn't see her parents a lot. And that's why that's why she's like, Oh yeah, my oldest sister will probably just, you know, take care of the company and they just let me go about my go about my days. So it's like, yeah, uh, I'm glad they didn't, they didn't give Penny any, like, tragic backstory or anything. It's just, like, Penny is, uh... It's HP restored. Penny is just, like, all right. All, all yeah, kind of normal and dandy. But, yeah, Penny, <laughs> think about it. <laughs> so shy and about everything. It's like, Dad, you're embarrassing me. <laughs> uh, Alright, slow that cool. So yeah, I like I like the conversation and good uh, group dynamic that they got going on for the um for the um the characters in this area. It's been great watching them interact. It's a shame that those those text boxes go by really, really Really, really, uh, really, really fast though. Just a tad too fast. Readable enough. I have not I can voice act it. There's only one character I can truly voice act, and it's gonna be Arvin anyway. So, Floatette, single bloom Pokemon, white flower. Floatette that are fond of white flowers can also easily sync with flowers of other colors. Nope. Judgment is a cliche tragic backstory. Made in a lab and delivered on someone's doorstep. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, I agree with it there, yeah. Everyone loves the made made in the lab backstory. I I even like the made in the lab backstory or whatnot. But maybe not even made in the lab, we can even say just altered in the lab or something, that's still kind of cool. That was always my kind of favorite thing. It's like you weren't made in the lab, but you spent some time in a laboratory and got it modified. It's also a pretty, pretty common one and whatnot. Sometimes, okay, I'll admit, both my parents, right? My my parents, they met in the army. So sometimes I wonder because of because of the way, and this is probably just the way the gene pool worked out with my. I'm like the tallest of my family. I'm like I'm like the next step in tallness in my family. Um, because all all the all the men in both sides of my family were like the tallest men yet. Now I'm the tallest one yet. Um, so that's just genetics. But it's always just like in between that and my like build and everything. Girl. I um I've often wondered like <clears throat> I'm like is there is there a chance that there was like some some secret scientific military science going on? Have my parents meet up, you know, genetically modify me and whatnot and Maybe maybe something came of the experiment or has yet to become an experiment or it doesn't, but <laughs> it was it was a, it was a fun fun little guilty pleasure like you know <laughs> many years ago. <laughs> but hey, at least at least I have that background. My parents met in the army. And it's like hmm, there's there's room there's room for storyline there. It gives it a little bit of extra depth. Secretly proper for sour salt and everything. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> 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 so, so. Oh come on, you! That, that's ex <laughs> that was extremely clever. I give that to you. That, that was that's incredibly clever. I can't get away, man. Alright. Got a 
blast this giraffe back to the past. This, this giraffe didn't come to the... Didn't come to the, from the past. It's going back to the past! <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> I can't get over it. Good. You gotta give that joke to other people or to aunt and uncle. It's too good. Sorry. That's so, that's so incredibly clever, I can't get over it. Sorry, not expecting that. Damn, that was good. Yeah, you get you get an award for today. Woo! You'll top that at some point. You'll you'll match or top that. No, definitely, definitely. <laughs> but <whew. laughs> <Started> come back. <laughs> oh, shit. oh. Masquerade, interesting. Silly Snack has taken over. <sighs> I'm over and I'm, I'm feeling the inkling to like kind of laugh about it again. <laughs> but yeah, you should you should scream. Please, uh, you gotta screen cap that and save it. That that is way too good. <laughs> Oh. Whew. Man. Top not to work for the head. Masquerade. Eyeball Pokemon. It flaps its four wings to hover and fly freely in any direction, to and fro and sideways. Nope. It's 
too. I could probably call it like drones be. Hey you, be sharp. Be sharp. Be sharp about what you do. And this should hopefully not kill you. Righteous. Use that iron defense. Man. <laughs> I feel a lot of illusions there in my system. Hey, you. Don't do that to my snake. You know, you know, hurt snake. The box, no. To, to defeat my snake, though, huh? To be captured? Fine. Why, you hurt the snake? Silly snake. What did snake do to you? Dark Steel. So it's indestructible. That's a, that's a magic reference to Dark Steel. Thing. Bye, Sharp. Sorry, played Pokemon. This Pokemon commands a group of several Ponyard. Groups that are defeated in territorial disputes are absorbed by the winning side. Oh boy. That's a bit. Well, as the name implies, dark. That's a. Hmm. A bit creepy. Almost like the. That's almost like the Phyrexians. Just like, you will now become one of us. <laughs> Literally. That's a. Hmm, that's, that's spooky. That's spooky. In the box. Technically, my time. Hmm. And some kind of random me while I was out there. Okay. Good thing I don't need attack. Flinch. Come on now. I'm about to take a break to go fill up some water in a moment. I, uh, yeah, I only, I only got my one water bottle here with me today, surprisingly enough. Uh, only, only have two, two bottles. Both of them are one liter. And I, uh, yeah, I got one at home. Oops. That bag can just keep refilling things. I think it's a tad tedious, you know. Yeah, I'm saying just to go this way. There's a research station. I'm find out that's like the last one.
Cycles are still in some, some level. Research station. I'll turn my frying pan into a drying pan. All right, another research station. So yeah, I'm just trying to make sure I do his voice is like kind of in Brock's direction, but a little bit more gruff to it. Nice. We get to chill for a minute. Something's gonna jump out at us again. 100% guaranteed. <laughs> oh, Penny. Such a worrywart. I, I get her. She's like, you know, two. you're two for two now. You might as well expect it on the third one. Huh? Da dawn See? See? <laughs> I like Nimona's reaction. <sighs> Wait a sec. This is just like that Titan Pokemon we saw. But this is just like that Titan Pokemon we saw! So it was an Asian Pokemon all along! Whoa, you battled one of these before, Urban? It looks seriously strong. Well, yeah, well, Alti and I are old pros when it comes to Titans. Leave this to us! to do that. Alright, I'm probably attacking me again. I don't, I don't want Cycle Zero to lose on, on experience points. I'm gonna go for some more. Okay. Everything is super effective against it. Was it like ground dark or something? No, ground fighting, huh? Super effective, and yeah, it's gotta be ground fighting. I think it's like the one weakness of Cyclops are. It's so weird. Okay. It's super effective. Yeah, don't say. Except it's to go first. Alright, Arvin, good job. That's a good healthy bark from that dog. I like that. They used, they used a good sample. Let's learn overheat. Tell me about overheat. One of those moves. Mm, yeah, I'm not gonna go with that. Torch Song is great in all honesty. See that? Victory's ours! Maybe the one we saw when we were searching out uh, when we were searching out the Urban Mystica came from down here. You two get to meet one of these Pokemon before our creator get together? Jealous! Uh, if we've got things from literal ancient times roaming around Paldea, that's a major problem. Isn't Professor Sada doing anything to keep them under control? How could she let this happen? Yeah, right. Cause it's not like oh so brilliant Professor Sada ever messes up. Come on, Altio. Let's get into that research station. <laughs> I could feel the the venom of that sarcasm from Arvin. I could really feel that. He's like, oh the oh so brilliant. The oh so brilliant Sada, my mother. And made to station number three. How are we doing after all that walking and battling and whatnot? Anyone need a rest? Hmm. 
You feeling rough, Penny? Hmm? Oh no, it's not that. I've just been thinking ever since the professor mentioned that time machine. The Pokemon here in Area Zero came to our time from the past, right? So, what about Coridon? Isn't it pretty likely that it's also one of those ancient Pokemon? Yeah, you're right. Huh. I think you're onto something. It is kind of giving off ancient vibes. Even its name sounds past E. It's literally Japanese for past. <laughs> Korai. Wait a sec. I totally forgot. Hey, Arvin. You had Koridon's ball. And you told us about its forms in the first place. You must know something about it, right? Ugh. You still remember that from way back? No wonder you're everybody's little star people. Guess I've got no choice then but to tell you what I know. That Pokemon, Koridon, that is. It was found by my mom when she was working on her time machine. I believe it would be best for me to take over the explanations at this point. Professor! Koridon, which I entrusted to Altio, was the first Pokemon that was successfully retrieved from the past by the time machine. Seriously? Through analysis of its genetic makeup, as well as its behavioral patterns, I came to realize that what I had discovered was in fact an ancient form of Cyclozar, the Pokemon still commonly hid, uh, ridden in this region. Well, that makes sense, I guess. They do look alike. Many other Pokemon also came to this place from across the boundaries of time, but I was never able to bring over more than two specimens of Coridon. Huh? You mean... There's another one around here somewhere? What are their family? The other one could still be somewhere in Area Zero waiting to finally be reunited with our Coridon. A heartwarming family reunion? Exactly. Imagine how thrilled they'll be if we can... If we can get the family back together after all this time. Family, huh? Yeah, that sounds nice. I was like, yeah, that, that sounds nice. <laughs> this mom's right there, trapped in the lab for years. If we could proceed, Altio, please disable the next lock using the central panel here. Yeah, you got it. And I'll heal up too this time. <laughs> Better press it. One left. Well done. Only one remains now. Please continue on the onto the final research station. Alrighty. Get that mildew rest. The mildewy bed. Hydration. So Coridon is an ancient or so Coridon is an ancient question. I wonder if he's no one's seen before. Also, you've got to me battle Coridon right now! Um, it still won't come out of its Pokeball. Oh, right. That was the first I heard of it coming from the past myself. It was just some weird Pokemon my mom brought home all, all of a sudden one day. We all lived together at that lighthouse lab for a little while. My mom made me promise to keep it a secret, and I had to take care of it for her too. So that's why you knew so much about it. Yeah, but then one day Coridon just went nuts against some odd Pokemon. A few of the folks living nearby ended up seeing it, so the secret was out. Once that happened, my mom took it and went back to Area Zero. I guess that makes sense if it's a Pokemon from a different age. Yeah, if people found out, it'd be all over the news. I didn't see my mom or Coridon again after that, for ages. Looking back on it now, it seems stupid, but... I felt like I'd lost my mom because of Coridon. It was the worst feeling ever. I just hated Coridon and everything about it! Didn't even want to talk about it. I'm sorry for not telling you what I knew, Ulti. You should be sorry. Shoot, that's like the coolest thing ever, and you didn't tell any of us. Yep, sure would have been great to know all that relevant before we got down here. D dang, you guys. Harsh. Poor, poor Arvin. And he can't catch a break. Just have to go deeper in that cave. Let's look around a bit. Oh, there's two caves. With, uh, a 
flame body. Oh, shoot. That did a lot. And fight it, hope for a flinch. Oh, but please flinch, please flinch, please flinch. Yes! Um, swapping in the croc before anything gets bad. Okay. HP. <laughs> Pretty much. Okay. Nice. Get caught. I don't know what cycles are. Volcarona. Sun Pokemon. Its burning body causes it to be unpopular in hot parts of the world, but in cold ones, Volcarona is revered as an embodiment of the sun. Makes sense. Mm, no. Go to box, please. Bug fire. Bug, 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 bug the fire. And heal up my lizard, please. Hey, look, I brought some burn heal. Yeah, better take some burn heal. <laughs> yes, Blaine. I have the burn heal. We're all good. Sideways game first. That thing's right down. Probably seems like the obvious way to go. Duck trio. Diglet dig, diglet dig, trio, trio, trio. Diglet dig, diglet dig, trio, trio, trio. I need plenty of that after this gym. Which I had like. Was it Wednesday night? Didn't get to go this morning. But I'm gonna go tonight! After Magic the Gathering! Work my mind and then I will work my body! That's a real small cave though, gonna, gonna admit. That goes up a ways, huh? Alright, down into the obvious zone it is. I don't even know if I have a ball, though. But I'll try and capture one. Like, it's not very effective against it? Uh oh. Drat! Braviary! Braviary, you... What are you... Alright, just take the ice. Freeze, bird! Oh, <laughs> no, dead? But why? I know, I know. It took, it took, it took a long time to evolve the paw mot. Alright, well, I guess Wish Granted then, I deleted the, I deleted the, the Palmo. This one looks like a, a screen tail that's bigger than the other two. It definitely is. I'm gonna go for it then. I 
it's not that good. It's very tight. It'll probably just play rough as well. Um, I think the best way to beat it. I'll change Pokemon. Steel would probably be the way. No, I, I didn't. I didn't. Which card? Are we talking about the, the Palmo or the Screen Tail? Just so I just fucking double check. I kind of kind of lost track of where. Yeah, it's 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 screechy little like very very point thing for something called Screen Tail. It's got this. I hope this won't do too much. Oh, not bad. It, it's the Jigglypuff part. It is? Altered version of it. Hmm. Or is it is it altered or is it is it the Jigglypuff cry itself? I would have to imagine they would maybe alter it a tiny bit, but maybe maybe they didn't. For all I know, they did not do that. Not very effective. I'm just gonna use this just to try and wear it down a bit. Good for red. Okay, I used red. Maybe so. I can damage it with this. Hit it with Meteor Mash. Then maybe I'll be able to catch it. Maybe. Let's push right in the thumbnail. Wow, YouTube. Good good job, good job. But I mean, this game's been out a long while. Spoilers are kind of a moot point. But it's funny. It's funny. I won't check, but... <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that's uh, people YouTube for you. Alright. Eat your mash. That... Perfect damage. Paradox Pokemon. There has been only one reported sighting of this Pokemon. It resembles a mysterious creature depicted in an old expedition journal. Your screen tell a nickname. No. Send to box. Oh, this is probably going to get the uh, cycles are ousted, but yeah, I've got the speed. So well, that. Yeah, that was too good. Whoops. Hmm. Is why is why gone? Deleted. Got stuck on Harmon. Dude, sports. The weightless. Okay, sorry, it was weightless. I was thinking gone. I don't know why. The glimmer. The glimmering one. Look at the stab on the compressor bite. Uh, that seems about... About 
Let's go for some. some like... That worked. That cry hurts your ears. Oh. Um, I can understand why. Died yesterday. Oh man. Yeah, yeah, jeez. That, that is a lot. That, that is quite a bit. Yeah, it sounds like you definitely do. That, that is a lot of loud stuff. This might be a good time to ask for some of the uh protection. Perhaps for learning sign language. Oh no! <laughs> no, no, no. That won't be necessary. Sklamora is being uh being a rough one. <laughs> yeah, that's nah, I, I get you though, I get you. I mean, hey, I was by our school bands, and we were we were all loud and whatnot. My hearing's not not that gone. I think I think Tune has less has more hearing damage than me because he always has his he always has his music at very high volumes in pods. He always has ear pods and always at high volume. So, and being part of school band in America, um, I'm part of the brass section, so I was always sat around any of the other you know any of the other trumpets and trombones and everything. Maybe maybe the people in front of me got hearing loss, not not myself from everything else around me. Not certain everything I was centered by, but I, my hearing's still really good, so maybe maybe you might. What kind of environment was your band? Um, I mean a lot of the typical stuff you see in all the um all, all the other usual bands, uh, at least the American variety. Um, I don't think there were I don't think there were too many who had. I'm taking a break here from the, from the battle, just to, just to think. I, 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 can remember, I can remember seeing the sights and whatnot. Thinking back, I know... I have some different saxophone, trumpet, bones, camera, really, like there was... No, we did have some string players over there. Yeah, maybe a handful of violins. There's, yeah, clarinets, flutes, uh, percussion students, do some normal snares, big old drums. There, there was there was one there was one tuba player at all uh, the two different bands I played at the different schools. There was, there was one tuba player, so there's mix you have your percu all your different percussions between snare, um, came with the big drums called. They, they would, they, all, the, all the percussionists would take turns between snares, the, the, the big drum, and cymbals. They would all just rotate on that. Just like equal experience. Um, 
So we had a good section of a good amount of Woodworm. I only think somebody tried playing Piccolo once. We had mostly have, yeah, flutes, clarinets, saxophones, trumpets, trombone. I'm trying to remember how much string we had. I'm trying to remember who sat where. The, the usual location was actually inside. I never got to the point where I could be part of a, the walking band for high school. And we, could, we were actually going to be outside and everything. But at that point, I was out of band. So I think the stuff I did, it was all inside. It was all indoors. How large of a room? Uh only only a moderate moderately sized room. It wasn't it wasn't that that large. It wasn't it wasn't very big. Larger than your average it was a bit larger than your average classroom, but it wasn't huge. You know, it was still rather, rather condensed when you think about it. Um, it was always conal shaped. So it was, both, all the rooms were always like in a, a cone shape. So almost like you were like performing in a stage-like area. We even had like raised, the room even had built-in raised, raised flooring sections for it, which was interesting. All with enough space to sit down and have your stand. Um, and then there was also side rooms. There was usually soundproof side rooms. Which is where you would probably cause yourself your most ear damage because it was a small room, only about as big as my the streaming space here. Because the computer where the camera is, there's basically a wall right behind it. There's there's, narrow, there's barely like two feet between the camera and the wall. So between that wall to here to like right over here, there was only enough room for like maybe one two people to fit in that room. It was a very small square space and it was soundproof so you couldn't hear you could you could hear the person playing but it was muffled heavily so it was really good soundproofing and you would be in that room and your your own instrument is just bouncing off the walls you know you probably wanted to go in there with a little bit of earplugs i don't even know if i did so okay, your school's practice rooms are tiny incredible acoustics i hear ya yeah i think i want to say the acoustics in the, in the practice rooms were my practice rooms were pretty pretty mad they were soundproof but i don't know if they had good acoustics and you know, sometimes you're trying to not you're trying to not lose track of playing while playing your song while practicing just because you're hearing yourself reverb off the walls. I, I, I think I think we were offered ear earplugs to start using in those in those rooms so we didn't give ourselves ear damage, especially especially anyone with louder much louder or shrill instruments. I know I think saxophone and clarinet didn't have to, but us trumpets definitely had to. I think the flutes definitely had to. Um, Cushion, but it definitely had to. I didn't find them. There were a few. No, there were a few violins. They normally sat up front. I remember. I remember we sitting on the right side because there were like two sides, right? So like all the clarinets and flutes were up here, violins in front. I remember who was in front of me, and then we have trumpets, trombones, and percussion. Just was all back row. You know, I'm just gonna change it up with a great ball, all right, Gomora? Some kid takes the whole room off. That's what I was gonna say, is it really gonna capture from that? Drum kid takes the Yeah, but if, if that can take, if a drum kid can take a whole room up. Huh. That does sound pretty small. That, that, that does sound. Oh, that might, be, that might actually even be close to the size of the room I had. I could imagine a drum kit taking up most of the room in there. It'd be hard to, like, waddle around the drum kit and, and actually sit at it. Great, Glamour. You made me use a lot of awful balls. Done. No, come on! I'm gonna give this like one more try. I'm just done with Glamora. I don't like you anymore, Glamora. Thank you. Yeah, it, it sure does. It's got a weird annoying cry. It took forever to get in the ball. I'm running low on ultra balls now. Like, thanks, Glamora. Ugh. Glamora, or Pokemon. When this Pokémon detects danger, it will open up its crystalline petals and fire beams from its conical body. <laughs> Never 
Nah, I won't give it. I was gonna give it a nickname. I'm like, no, 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 give me facetious. Won't give it a. Won't give it a nickname. Won't call it. Won't call it. Sucks bad, bad Pokemon forever. R toss it away and forget about it for <laughs> all time. I'll be nice to it. I'm gonna skill more. I won't be. <laughs> Ah, oh, Cyclozar. Cyclozar! You get the lemonade. And you get the lemonade. Dun dun sparse. Ah, oh, redundancy. Still kill it. Maybe it won't. Maybe it'll still take just enough damage. Yeah, it's it's the stab bonus that same attack, same same type attack bonus that probably um probably got the uh got the Zoilus, uh trounced last time. Much better than a than a Glamora. Swilus, hostile Pokémon. The two heads do not get along at all. If you don't give each head the same amount of attention, they'll begin fighting out of jealousy. Dang. Go to box. Dark Strike. Looking around, stunned. This place is so cool. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh! Look at all these huge, gorgeous crystals! They go all the way to the bottom! If you could see a place like that in real life, I wouldn't know what to do. I'd be like, wow. Uh, one slip and we can kiss our short lives goodbye. Oh, good call. Watch your step. So, the professor's down there somewhere, waiting for us. And that's fine. Totally fine. Alright, team. Watch yourselves and let's get to the bottom of this thing. This place looks unreal. Maybe there really is, uh, maybe there really is treasure down here like the stories say. Yeah. This place like something from a whole other world. Makes you feel like maybe you already died and went somewhere. Is it just me, or do the crystals here give off the same glow as when Pokemon terastalize? There's gotta be some sort of connection. Only one way to find out. Come on, everybody, let's keep moving. We've got to go all the way down. I agree with you. Much agreed on. Crydon came to our age through the time machine, then lived here a while with the professor, along with another one of its kind? That seems to be the story. So we brought it back home, kind of, or to its second home at least. I guess this place should be familiar to it, sure. Aw, oh, that's great, a chance to unwind and bask in the familiarity. That doesn't exactly jive with how it's been acting all spooked since we got here. It doesn't seem eager to come out of its ball anytime soon, either. Really? I was just scared because we were so high up. Huh? Who said it was scared of heights? 
Given how Kraidon was acting earlier, I think something bad happened to it here. Sometimes you get all shaky just seeing a place that you've got bad memories of. It was the same for me when I was being ignored by everyone in my class. This thing about school made me want to hide away somewhere, so I know how it feels. Aw, Penny! So, maybe got hurt down here in Area Zero, just like Mabastiff. I can't know for sure, but it doesn't change into its battle form anymore, right? So I think it's possible. But that's so sad! We gotta do something to make it feel better! And no, I'm not saying that just because I super badly want to battle Kraidon myself! Seriously? Well, at least you said it and not one of us. Nomono, you're kind of unbelievable. Come on, whatever. Let me read it from over here. In a mostly good way. Yeah, Nomono, you're, you're kind of unbelievable. In a mostly good way. <laughs> Leads the thing to become Glamora. Glint. Glint. Yeah, I love this kind of character. This thing has a much nicer battle cry as compared to Glamora. I'm just saying. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna do a quick ball. I just do not want to deal with shenanigans. Yes! Thank you. There's one for the decks. Do 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 do. Glimit, or Pokemon. It absorbs nutrients from cave walls. The petals it wears are made of crystallized poison. Uh, oh, jeez. Why is there so much poison in Paldea? More like, more like... Paldoizen, or Poisdea. Mm hmm. <laughs> what battled me? Smiley's. Right. Cycles are faster. Actually, let's give you some um, give you some uh, experience. Kerpow. Actually, now, now Lucario needs to catch up. Oops, my bad. Here, Lucario, get in there. You got Dragon Pulse, so you'll win. Now there's like no, now there's no Zwylas around. Eh, whatever. <laughs> did I catch one of you yet? I did not. So, yeah, that's, yeah, that's kind of a. It's a psychic type, but you know, maybe maybe it'll work. Okay, I think this will work. Uh oh. Okay, it, really, it failed. Yay! Please fail. Red. Whatever last resort is, I'll admit I'm scared of it. I understand, Landon. I understand. Stuff was just going on that day. It is what it is. But hey, there, maybe there'll be chances to join in the future. Maybe I can do it one time during an evening time. Give you a chance to join in. But yeah, good to see you, man. How is it going? Looking forward to this weekend. Nice, fresh, new weekend. When will the next one be? Um, if not this upcoming week, then it, then maybe the following week. I only got you know so many stream days to work with, but uh, yeah, I'll take I'll take a look. I'm not I have to admit I'm not I'm not 100 certain. I got a I got a good amount of rotating games to, to go with. Um, new set comes out, so I probably will have to focus on Magic on Wednesday. Uh, I believe I have to go in on Thursday morning. Maybe next Friday would be good. I think next Friday would probably be pretty good. Off on Monday. That reminds me, I don't know what to do with I don't know what to do with exactly do with Monday yet. I might I might split Monday into two different streams, all depending on how today goes. Cause 
because I gotta finish, you know, either one of these two games, either Kabushi. Kabushi's probably about to be wrapped up, and then this game's about to be wrapped up too, so I'll have some extra open time. And Majora's Mask is coming up. Majora's Mask will run. <laughs> Maybe I could do an all-day Terraria thing on Monday. That sounds like a good idea, actually. Like, really good have just given that game. So depending on how we finish up today, I better get my A game on here. So I'll just get something for Tuesday and Thursday. Well, actually, I'm doing Thursday. Maybe something. I gotta figure out something for Tuesday and Friday. But no, I could maybe even do it. Maybe even do it Monday. So I want to start Majora's Mask. So maybe I give Majora's Mask a half day on Friday, and then it gets the next full day. I'll find out. I'll find out. Could maybe even start next week. Do the night on Friday. Terraria can either be Monday or Tuesday. We'll see. We'll see. All right, yeah, it'll, it'll definitely be soon because I can keep rotating. Or non, you know, it can, it can, Tari's gonna be around for a while. It's not one of those like oh, I complete and it's done and whatnot. Or maybe it's one of those longer standing ones that can keep rotating in with things. I keep, I keep going back and forth with what I call like rotating and non-rotating. So procrastinating painting, uh, I hear you. Procrastination happens, but what's uh keeping you from? From getting that painting done. Maybe it'd be a good idea to paint downstairs. Have the stream on, do some paint. Downstairs, you know. Get all, get all done all in one! Yeah! Alright. <clears throat> Let me continue with this. I'm glad I'm glad you're I'm glad that I'm glad to hear about that. Yep. Well, that you're looking forward to the weekend there. Big plans? Many plans? Simple plans? Alright. <clears throat> As Pathra, ostrich Pokemon, it immobilizes opponents by bathing them in psychic power from its large eyes. Despite its appearance, it has a vicious temperament. No. It's just pure psychic. Getting your paints out. Fair enough. I left my headphones in the car too. Plus, it's cold and I don't want to move. <laughs> Sounds like it'd be a good time to go ask for help, or, you know, hey, throw on a couple extra layers and go get them, or be like, hey, everyone's in there, right? And I'm a small frigid creature, help! Alright, bridge over here, take the bridge. Behold the power of Aura! Hadoken. Dine. Ein, zwei, drei. Zufa. get over there. I'm looking at them, I'm like, man, there's something over there. Right. So this was not the path. Bridge across did not go anywhere, surprisingly. Doctor, you're, you're bugging the heck out of me. I'm gonna capture you. Let's give it up. Wait, no, wait, what? I'm talking in game? What's up, Professor? Hoi hoi hoi! Torch foo forever! <laughs> but yeah. 
with the weight mode did sound kind of funny. Good to me. Oh, that was perfect. Get in the ball. Good to see me. How you been doing? How's the week been for you overall? I need to heal. Earthquake still hits hard, even for same type. I did, I did. It's it summoned you from the from the from the reaches. It's almost like like the Beetlejuice call. If you if you need a professor, just do the German three count. And you'll have a staunch, stalwarty professor at your side. Dead trio, mole Pokemon. It's three heads bob separately up and down to loosen the soil nearby, making it easier for it to burrow. Close aim to completing the dash. Not as close as the me as having already completed it. It's going pretty well. Gibbles! And there's three of them. You'd almost expect like a full. Oh, yeah, there's a Gabite. Uh... King Croc's going out. Reduce damage from fire and all that stuff. Try towards that. For resistance, it should be able to do just enough damage without knocking it out. Mmm! Perfect! Alright, yeah, right. If you don't like this ball, I promise I'll give you the premier ball. You'll love it. No! No digging. Absolutely not. Oh, where am I going? Where am I going? Where am I going? Love it, Gabite. Gabite, I know you like being crowned, crowned champion of competitive. You can auto include all the time everywhere. Come on, Gabite. Come on, Gabite. Come on. Come on. We're in a cave, technically. Get dusk balls. What? one for the decks. Gabite. Cave Pokemon. In rare cases, it molts and sheds its scales. Medicine containing its scales as an ingredient will make a weary body feel invigorated. Huh. Nope. Go to the box. Don't even know your summary. Also, <laughs> Nimona standing in the camera angle. Thanks, Nimona. Kinda makes me want to hold you, but also not. Getting out of here will be uh, interesting. Nope, uh, they gave me a pathway. Sweet. Speaking of. Oh, uh, poor Lucario. need to buy potions. I got a lot of max potions. I'll just use them up. Okay. Well, 
I'm a car, I'm gonna let little car level up just a teeny bit before I can non down with it further. Give me your mashes in. Thank you for using rest while picking up food. Yeah, heal, 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 like Lucario. Hey, how much bone run? Oh, that didn't do that much. That's a normal attack. Not even critted, okay, so it ain't gonna do anything. We'll let the meteor rush in place. I might faint if it gets to fall five. Yeah! I'll say, don't stop now, don't stop now! Yes! Good job, Lucario. Hit, hit, hit like Lucario! Oh, jeez, are you okay? Staying too attentive to pay when you fell in the face. Oh, my goodness. The, I guess you could say that the focus really drew you into the work, huh? <sighs> but yeah, you good? Yeah. My floor is fluffy. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Zwei. That's gonna be in my head for wine. Zwein, drei. Zufa! <laughs> What are we gonna battle this time? We should probably like, rotate Lucario out. Hmm, no cutscene? Weird. But in here there's one. Ooh. This place is. Whoa, what happened? This place is a mess! It looks like something went berserk in here. Yeah, but what? Hello, children. God, Professor, you scared us. I'm sorry. Why is everything in here all busted up? I am sorry. Hello, children. Uh-oh. Come again? I'm sorry, 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 I'm sorry. Hello, children. Hello. Hello. Uh oh. What the heck? Stop that. You're creeping us out. Hello, child. Children and children and children. children. Initiating restart. Mother really is an AI. Oh my god, your mom's gone! Oh jeez, Arvin, I'm so sorry. The professor must be having some, uh, some weird connection problems or something, huh? Well, it was definitely weird, at least. Almost like, I don't know. If she meant it as a joke, it wasn't funny. I still got goosebumps and all. Disable the lock, but uh, all locks disabled. Yeah, uh, judging judging from the the beginning of Area Zero, where she doesn't really talk about Arvin being her kid and kind of just acknowledge it, and she kind of almost acknowledges it a bit in the other one, but the that no, the Professor Sato is not not alive anymore, definitely not. <sighs> I like the storytelling though, man. <laughs> I'm glad they did that. Oof. If you if you had been guessing that from from a while ago, and then to have that happen, it's like it feels both. Re it's a bittersweet because it's like, ooh, it's rewarding, but also really creepy. Because all Arvin wanted was acknowledgement from his mother, and his mother's not around anymore. That's why he can't get it. That's why he can't get that. And but at least at least he saw his map is stiff. But whoo, oh boy, the tones are heavy now. Ah ah ah. Hello, can you hear me now? 
Please f forgive my previous transmission. There seems to be some signal interference. That's not what that was. What do you mean, Arvin? The locks have all been disabled at last. Please make your way now to the Zero Lab, which lies at the very bottom of Area Zero. Arvin already knows. Maybe, maybe, maybe Arvin knows, or he's just like, there's no way that was a transmission glitch, so he's just calling her bluff on that. You... Like Lucario and the rest of your party. <laughs> that's, that's funny the way that context works. Oh man, okay. Uh, just some of the stuff and the way she acted, saying, oh, you know, beginning scan and doing all this. Like, that's definitely AI like. There, there was definitely something off about the professor just now, right? Maybe it was a little dramatic flair to get us all jazzed for more adventuring. What? That. Got you jazzed? Yeah, maybe even big time jazzed. You need to go see the doctor. That's just not right. Say, I'm pretty sure that call was really... Uh, never mind. It's nothing. What's wrong, Arvin? You seem kind of down. No matter how things turn out, I'm counting on you to see this through, Altio. Oh, man. Poor Arvin. I think he realizes... He 100% realizes. He wanted that. He wanted an intense adventure to get his. Yeah, so that symbol on the floor is definitely the the symbol of the crater. It's the shape of. The So there's a building in there completely covered in completely covered in crystal. Is the crystal related to the, the time time space? Feeling, I, I just got all the feels for Arvin right now. All, all the bro ever wanted was his dog to be healed, his mom to return, and he finally got to heal his dog, but I think he realizes now that he, he ain't got no mom. In the other version, he realized he ain't got no dad either. Uh, it's... I wouldn't know how to feel either, just finding out that only close by relatives are aren't exactly around. They're there, but also not. I just... <sighs> being 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 left over and remained and put on, on a computer program can have can have both its really pleasant moments and its really bad moments. Or it's really like downsidey, like hit you hard kind of moments, and that feels like that right now. So this is the hit you hard moment. Oh, man. reach the deepest part we made it ready to see if those legends if those legends of treasure down here are for real eh, yeah right that's just fluff they write to fill the textbooks hello children you've done well to make it here the structure you see before you is the zero lab that's where you are right professor but wait why does it look like the whole place is being swallowed up by crystals the crystals here in Area Zero possess a peculiar energy. 
This energy can alter the functions of living things and optimize the performance of machinery. It is the same energy that allows Pokemon to terastalize. So, this entire building's been terastalized? Is that what you're saying? Don't be silly, Arvin. Professor implied something important about Terra Orbs just now. They're made from the crystals down here in Area Zero, aren't they? Indeed, though not many know it. Since you have disabled all four locks, the gate to the Zero Lab should now open for you. But once you open the gate, you will quickly be confronted with the dangerous Pokémon inside. They will likely make a break for freedom. That sounds like a problem. With the four of you working together, you should be able to best them. Prepare yourselves well, then open the gate. You've got me and Alter here. Doesn't matter what we're up against, we'll be fine. Ha! Well then that puts all my worries to rest. Got the two champions of the area, so... Didn't battle anything on the way down here, so I've got full power points. I had to press the button and open. Hold it! Huh? Why? We're finally on the cusp of getting into the lab. Look, if it's true that a bunch of really dangerous Pokemon might come at us, then shouldn't we also have Coridon help? Yeah, if Coridon were like... If, if Coridon were like how we first saw him in the Inlet Grotto, that'd be a huge help. I want to see it battle. Uh... But it hasn't even wanted to let us ride it ever since we came down to Area Zero. And we can't enter its battle form in the first place. But it's really strong, I know it is! I ate all those Herba Mystica we found too! When it really matters, I'm sure it'll fight! Area Zero is where it used to live! If you bring it out of its ball now, maybe it'll be able to find its family too, right? That's pretty sensible by your standards, Arvin. Hmm, I don't know. Go on, Aldia, let Coridon out! I'm actually, I'm actually on, on, on the kind of person that says no. Like, let Coridon be. I wonder if I'm even allowed to, like, say no. You said no, you always tell her no. <laughs> does, it, does it just cycle? Does it just loop? But yeah, I guess it's not up to myself to decide if Crygon's ready or not yet. But I, I want to say that just normally I think I'd be the type to say, well, no, 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 you know. And I'm wondering now on the merits of, like, if I try to let Crygon be to not, not force it to face something, is that just coddling it, or is that is that a proper protection or not? I feel like it's storyline, so I'm just gonna kinda go along with it, but my true answer would probably be no. I have to real evaluate myself a bit about that. I'm like, huh. That that thing that really made me think. Yeah, you have to regardless. But I was just thinking from a perspective like, based on all that information. Alright! Come on, Altio! Now that we've got Crydon ready, it's time to open that gate! I, I think even Crydon does want to help because Crydon didn't, didn't immediately go back in. Happening. Whoa, no way! 
I'm like, whoa, no way! No, something's not right. Huh, what's wrong? You found that your heartwarming family reading got cut off so quickly? Are you joking? There was nothing harm heart bleh, bleh. There was nothing heartwarming about it. We were this close to getting caught up in a nasty brawl. Wait, for real? Just look at Karaidon. The poor thing's terrified. Guess that other one isn't exactly its pal. Yeah, that other Pokemon was giving off some real bad vibes. Uh, not that you should worry about... Not that, uh, not that you should worry a thing about any of that. Once we get you back into, bat into your battle form, I'm sure you'll be going toe-to-toe -to -toe against that jerk. If, you know, if you want to. S sorry, sorry. Guess that doesn't really help, huh? Do you think that the other Karaidon was one of the dangerous Pokemon the Professor warned us to watch out for? But didn't the Professor say the dangerous Pokemon would come out from inside? You mean from inside the gate we... You mean from inside the gate we just... Uh-oh. There they is. The fucking Fumba. God. What the... Time to endurance battle, I guess. We're surrounded. It's pretty obvious they're not here to roll out a friendly welcome mat. There's no way we can handle this many. Don't tell me they're all ancient Pokemon? We've got a little disaster on our hands here. Look, even that fellow's ready to bail. I guess it's my turn. I've been waiting. Come on, let's do this together. Battle time. Go, go, go like Lucario. He uses a ground attack, that's bad. Also getting pretty high now. Ground fighting. Doom is the best option here, unfortunately. All right, once you get your levels in there, uh, Lucario. Gotta do the swaps just for uh, just for getting through to the. Uh, Goodness, Lycan Rock died in one go. Do either, huh? Pretty good speed too. But that makes sense. Alright, what's next? Cars are going first for all of these, isn't it? Wow, they're strong enough. This is a worthwhile challenge. Glad you're on our side, but you're still really annoying when you say stuff like that. Ah, why are they coming at me? Help me out here! You got it. So, me and Harmon get mischievous. I mean, 
work. Our spirit still. You're getting a nap. It's more like a ground grass type at this point. Go Lucario, go! Yeah, Ancient Pass must have been terrifying! Get the rest off. Oh no, they're running away! Yeah, and... Those Pokemon get out, we're gonna have a gigantic mess on our hands! We gotta go after him, Penny. Why me? Wait! Wait, wait! Oh, hold on, Nimona, why do I have to get the feeling you're enjoying all this? I hope that two of them can handle their part. But at least the crowd's been thinned out now. It's up to us to deal with what's left. Let's go for the strong looking one first. Get too quick when I cross you there and you hear too much. Jaws with a stealth ninja. Accidental ninja. Play as Levitate. No, I can't use the fighting attacks on it. Super effective. Was it dark? I use meteor. Right, I use meteor mash. So yeah, that's actually fairy. Is it ghost fairy or something? Wait, what? I'm confused. See, the power of friendship had us perfectly in sync, all thanks to our titan hunting together. Still scared, huh? You worried you might have to face another one of your kind? Well then. Let me take on some of the birds. These stragglers should be nothing. Me and Mabastiv here can take them. So, Ultio, you take your partner there and go take care of business. <laughs> Glad to see you've got some faith in us at last. Mabastiv can't wait to battle either. An enemy. Coridon. Really ruined my whole childhood, you know. It's not like seeing you cowering and scared out of your wits makes me feel any better about it. You've got amazing powers. You just use them. You've got us too, so... So... So don't you even think about losing to that jerk! Be brave! Stand up and fight! Good words are. Good words. Human presence detected within the Zero Lab. Deactivating sleep mode. Oh man. Oh man, what? It's a cyborg? So it's not even like AI on a computer screen. It, it computer screen. Computer screen. It's a cyborg? Oh my goodness. Oh, oh no. Oh my goodness, no. Oh. 
Oh, poor Arvin, I'm so glad he stayed outside. Oh my goodness, no way. Oh, I couldn't know. Oh man. Hello, Altio. Thank you for coming. No. Back to your ball. That one is far less tractable and far more aggressive than the one you've traveled with. You were correct on Flood Area Zero because it lost to the other one in a territorial struggle. I'm afraid that there is something for which I must apologize. I am not the true Professor Sada. Then who are you? I am an artificial intelligence the Professor created, imbued with her memories and knowledge. In short, I am an AI-powered robot. The real professor passed away during the incident that destroyed research station number four. <sighs> oh, man. At least they outright tell you that she's gone. Oh, man. I was thinking, okay, maybe she got trapped in the past. There might still be a way to bring her back. No, she is just... Dunzo. <sighs> the incident? The Pokemon was not to be blamed. It was the original professor who failed to accurately judge its full power. I believe the professor wanted nothing more than for the Coridon to survive and thrive. That is why she threw herself in front of your Coridon in an attempt to protect it. <gasps> From the time I first reached out to Director Clavel and asked to be put in contact with you, I was never more than an AI. Altio, the reason I asked you to come to me is because I have one last thing to do here at the Zero Lab and I desire your help. In short, I wish for you to put a stop to the time machine the original professor created. Any questions can be addressed as we make our descent. Follow me. Wow. I'll check out some family messages real quick. Must have to do with my grandmother. energy and I'm to be helping Pokemon with certain abilities. The energy that fills the capsule boosts something. Grapers attack or something. Alright, she's not activating, so I'll uh I'm gonna check that real quick. It's a held item. I'm my Pokemon with certain abilities. The energy that fills this capsule boosts the strength of the Pokemon. Interesting. This elevator will take us down to the lower level. Step inside. So he was mad at the wrong Coridon. Altio, it is truly, it truly is a great relief to me that you came. I will answer any questions you may have. Is there anything you wish to know? The time machine is a device that the original professor and I worked on together. 
It sends Pokeballs to a different point on the timeline to catch Pokemon there, and it can then draw them back here to the present. When she was alive, Professor Sada had a great fascination with Pokemon from another age. What you might call ancient Pokemon. Even as we speak, the time machine continues to automatically draw ancient Pokemon to this time. Is there anything else you wish to ask? As I explained to you before, the original professor no longer exists. During the destruction of the research station, her physical body received grievous injuries that left it unable to sustain life. I'm afraid that this fact may be difficult for her son, Arvin, to accept. I now manage the Zero Lab in the original professor's place. Is there anything else you wish to ask? There's an AI, really. An AI is an artificial intelligence created by a human being. A computer draws on the original professor's knowledge and memories to calculate all of my thoughts and actions. The results of those calculations are expressed by this mechanical body, built to resemble the professor in every way. Humanity does not, in fact, possess the knowledge to develop such a sophisticated AI at present. But the crystals that make up the Zero Lab have made such a thing possible here. So you'd never be able to leave Area Zero anyways, then. That's why you can't go back. That's why you can't leave and go up and act in Sada's place. Ah, she says it. They are also why I cannot leave this place. Is there anything else you wish to ask? The original professor had a dream of a world in which ancient Pokemon might live alongside present-day Pokemon in harmony. But these Pokemon's powers seem to stem from a primal energy of the ancient past. And this energy has proved too terrible. Their very existence brings destruction to the ecological balance of this modern age. The original professor would say that such destruction is a natural part of life. At present, the barrier around Area Zero is still working to keep the ancient Pokemon from escaping into the rest of Paldea. But we've begun to see Pokemon appear that can break the barrier, such as Great Tusk. Eventually, they will break free of this walled garden known as Area Zero and run rampant across the Paldea region. And when they do, the rich and varied ecosystem of Paldea will be trampled beneath their coming. I may have been created as a copy of the Professor, and yet... I cannot seem to find the logic in allowing such a tragedy to occur. But any hope of preventing it would require overcoming the greatest AI that the original Professor ever devised. Altio, you have become a formidable trainer. Now use that strength you have gained to destroy the dream Sada once cherished. I appreciate your willingness to help. We have reached the lowest level. Behold, this is the time machine we perfected using the power of the terrestrial phenomenon. Uh, not right. Uh, I turn off the auto save. I guess I need to reset and don't think for a on or anything. Doing whatever happens. Save right in the spot. Is that the talk to you, huh? To stop the time machine. You will need to use the professor's ID, which has been embedded within the Scarlet Book. It was very like the professor to put the final key we would need in that book, of all places. She loved that volume since childhood. If you place the Scarlet Book upon the pedestal here, you will be able to stop the time machine. There is just one issue. If you try to stop the machine, I will most likely attack you. Artificial being that I am, my own desires can be overridden by the system's programming. Once that happens, I'm afraid I will become no more than a battle machine 
bound to defeat anyone identified as an obstacle by my code. My battling abilities are peerless. They are built upon analysis of all the battles carried out by the various champions of the Paldea region. Having seen the bond between you and your Pokemon, however, I believe you can prevail. Once you have readied yourself for this fight, please place the Scarlet Book upon the pedestal. This, this room is so cool! I'm gonna view this room into my to my mind and hopefully dream about it later. This room is awesome. Dang, that's too much. So shiny and prismatic. That's way too good. Okay, save again. Just to be certain, so I don't have to rewatch that explanation. But you know, thank you, AI. Thank you for being very logical about all of it. And knowing that you'd have to battle somebody. Right. I might I might lose this fight. We'll see, depending on the team. ID confirmed, Professor Sada. Access granted. Initiating emergency shutdown. Please wait. Please wait. Access denied. Shutdown command over overridden. Reinitializing. It's up to new it's up to you now, Altio. AI Sada switching to sleep mode. Activating offensive protocol. Azu is the goat. Oh, then I should pull up. I, I think I think Lucario still no, I have silly snake. Please! Defeat me! At last my dream is within reach. At, at last my dream is within reach. And you're not getting in the way. AI Sada has initiated a battle. I like how they changed the text for that. I don't know who you are, but I'm not about to let anyone get in the way of my goals! Is the power of the ancient past holds. Splendid, isn't it? I'll just take the defense box. I lose out on my attacks. Thank you for letting me know that the general is going to be a great backup.
increasing my attacks. I'm sure Snake is in like the negative values now. Yeah, I forgot to get on it. Oh, it's only at a negative one now. Pretty good then. Giant supercomputer. Do you imagine you can beat the wealth of data at my disposable at my disposal with your human brain? Avoided the attack. Gotta swamp it up, huh? This is interesting, child. Do you actually understand ancient Pokemon's weaknesses? It probably can't be too different. Let's start over on Snake's coiling, but it'll work. Let's get a zoom in here then. earlier. We're able to one shot up with the zoom roll now. So it would be too dark. Probably again, just keep the zoom on. Flat, it has Thunderbolt. That thing is weird looking. So it doesn't actually have hair. That's a little that's magnetized dirt. 
isn't hair, it's magnetized dirt to make, make it look like hair, make it look tribal. That's interesting. I think we'll be able to uh, handle this fine. Our power is power. Uh, 105. Power is just ridiculous. I swap you in, heal you, and hope for the best. Gosh dang. She got stuff on its back and a tail. The thing is, this thing is both cool and weird at the same time. It's for a really good final boss, though. Gosh dang. Now it's being reduced. At least I know it can survive a just charge and I see why it. Still gonna use Earth Power though, so it's like, what do I even do? Sandy Shocks terastalize. That'll be the new game plan. I actually did not get the solo this one, but you know. Because that Volcarona. Thank <laughs> you. 
attack phase, so it's like... Unfortunate. Well, eh. So there we go, the one time I lose. Right, we'll start with the Zoomerel, trash the lines, and go from there. Sheesh. You soloed through a Sandy Shop with a Zoomerel, like, my kudos to you. Huzzah! Huzzah indeed! skip this. At least we get to watch it rewatch cool cutscene if we can't skip it. Nope, no skipping. Alrighty. But Sada didn't want her her um her stuff being uh, shut down at, at any cost. Everything in the Master Ball. Until you forgot Ether. <laughs> right, right. It's in the 80s. Oh, well, that's gonna do it! <laughs> That'll definitely help. Well, from what I've seen here, I think Azumar will still get the job done. Despite the, uh, the level of similarities. Despite being within the right level range. not going to survive the thunder shock it has thunder shock we're changing the dragon right now the time is up the stab bonus but that's fine any protection from lightning Of course! Now I get para hacks. He's a fair move, isn't it, actually? 
to beat it with require to give it a hit it with a ping ping with bob earlier. But it critted? That's a crit. You can't calculate a critical hit. <sighs> this game is really messing with me now, huh? It would taunt you, like, oh, we critted you, haha. <laughs> Not cool. <laughs> Thunderbolt, that's all. It avoided it? Come on. Coiling and we'll definitely be able to defeat. Yeah, so it's not doing much damage off the uh, super effectiveness. against it. Or... Of course it froze. Now nah, I guess that was inevitable. Hard to get a moment to heal up um, Azumarill as well.
That's awesome. Barely ahead in speed. One speed reduction. Up it out. Brute bonnet. Current. Definitely. Okay, it's raw. Show off and be able to heal up. Okay, problem. The Sandy Shock is a problem. Keep current. Or does it get stronger every time it gets used? Okay, power points of 10. Cool. I wasn't sure that she's still like glitching out. It's making them blow moves. It's tiny bit windy out there. There was any frame drops. No. None. What did they use? Flash cannon. Interesting. I actually survive if it uses earth power again, I think. Sort of error has occurred here, recalculating for critical damage.
everything is proceeding with my, my within my expectations. I'm afraid the probability of you winning is zero. Booster energy we use up. Uh-oh. I don't know if it's hiding attack. Okay. Also got Dragon Pulse. Dragon. This is your last one, though. Huh. I'm gonna use Earthquake again. It's darn good coverage. It's like facing the Dark Chomp from Gen 4. It survived! Oh my goodness. The lack of effectiveness. Oh, I should have used like Power Gem or Focus on that. Yeah, that was dumb of me. That was my fault. I should have focused on the Power Gem. Power Gem would have done it. I didn't think it would take so little damage though from uh from discharge. I'm like it's still part flying, it's flying, so it'll take like normal damage, but it's not flying. All I can do is I guess try to go for play route, but it probably has a faster speed. It's higher level anyway, so. The Roaring Moon is just super fast. And it's gonna Earthquake on... The ground just destroys my whole team. That was really unfortunate. All we can do is hope that the Hyper Voice gets... It chose Night Slash? I got lucky. All I had to do was Earthquake, but maybe it was out of Earthquake. That was not easy. In impossible. character what is this did you already beat all the baddies without me okay out with it you who are you really Th thank you for everything the time machine has finally she has finally been stopped you're really not my mom are you oh look how big you've grown. So proud of you, my. Sorry you were alone so, so long, Arvid. Mom? Security system failure. Security system failure. Threat to time machine detected. Threat to time machine detected. But what's going on now? 
Is another army of Pokemon? Is another army of Pokemon on its way here? It cannot be. She put up a she put a double backup on. An obstacle is preventing the time machine from performing. An obstacle is preventing the time machine from performing. Safe. Activating Paradise Protection Protocol to remove the offending obstacle. What? What was keeping the time machine running? Truly, all the through all the pressure up. Blocking all Pokeballs except ID. Wait, what? Program initialized. Gathering terrestrial energy. I'm sorry, children. This is too much for you. You must run. Marvin. AI SADA disabled. Paradise Protection Protocol initialized. You are not getting in my way. You are challenged by AI Sod. You are challenged by the Paradise Protection Protocol. Go right ahead. We're here. Go on. Go on and say about it. Battle without a Pokemon on the field. It's true, our Pokemon won't work here. How are we even supposed to battle? Yeah, some crazy electrical signal is jamming our Pokeballs. Even I can't get them open. I don't care what put everyone else in danger. That's totally cheating, and you call yourself an adult? agree with him. Yeah, my Pokemon are healed. Pokeballs are locked. You can't switch Pokemon. This Coridon, this you just unlock your other Coridon's battle power. I was like, all right, maybe it's Coridon time. That ended up being it. He's like, yeah. Kaiju battle! Get the popcorn. Heck yeah. I kind of like this, this forced playthrough ending. Vision course. Neutron from crash is gonna cause a massive prehistoric explosion. This one's power is boosted more than usual if, it, if it's a super effective hit. Let's go, Crydon! You got this! I have to use Terra Blast. 
you will fall here within this garden paradise and achieve nothing in the end. And achieve nothing in the end. It's hard to do like revival. It's like a voice filter thing. You will not be allowed to destroy my paradise. Obstacles to my goals will be eliminated. Or will be eliminated. This looks like it could be bad. Uh, hang in there! Data, say I am superior. Fall and become a foundation upon which my dream may be built. Perhaps that's about you wouldn't feel sad. Thanks, Crydon. You took the hit like a champ! You can do this! I know you can! Hmm. Can we pull off a win here? This doesn't look good. Hey, your terror orb's glowing. Trash slice and finish this off! Gotta agree, terror blast time. I figured terror blast was coming up. Which is which is rather nice. Crown tipped it up so you wouldn't feel sad. Show me you won't be pushed around. Time to rest and get in some super effective hits. Go for it again. Not even not even losing the terror blast. You defeated the Paradise Protection Protocol! You... did it! it it's not going berserk anymore? How... how very astounding. To think that you would manage to defy even the original professor's final protections. Are you back to normal? Yes, a completely unforeseen outcome, even for an AI possessing the most sophisticated technology ever conceived. Even on the brink of despair, you children did not give in and instead proved your worthiness, showing the wisdom to think for yourselves, the courage to hold faith in your friends, and the fortitude to do what had to be done. No matter how difficult your own paths may have been, I believe you will be capable of walking whatever paths you choose for yourselves now, with pride. I thank you. I thank all of you children. But I am afraid that the time machine cannot be put to a complete stop so long as I am here. It appears I myself am part of the system that ensures the machine reboots when stopped. Huh? What? what does that mean? I am sorry. You know, when I was watching you, when I was watching you all on your adventures from down here, I felt a sense of jealousy. I envied your freedom. 
The way that you came together, working in league with your fellows and caring for them. The way that you sought strength and to better yourself, throwing all you are into your battles. The way you would face down even the greatest enemies to save that which you loved. The way you never ceased to seek nor to fight for a treasure all your own. Ah, and the way that you soared free through the very skies on those wings of yours. I wish that I, too, might be as free as you all, free to seek out that which I might treasure above all else, not bound. Your own treasure. As long as I remain here, the time machine will not stop, for I am inextricably connected to it. So I have made a decision. I will use the time machine to journey to the world of the ancient past that I have dreamed of. What? You can't just leave now right when we finally reached you! I am not going only I am not going only so that the time machine can be stopped. I also cannot deny, deny my desire to see what that ancient world for myself. Is that what it feels like to have your heart race with the thrill of adventure? There's no coming back, huh? Arvin, I'm sorry that I kept the truth from you for so long. I inherited all the thoughts and wishes of the professor, and so I understand better than any. Your mother truly loved you. You... You can't... You can't just go and say a thing like that now! That can make me cry. No, I suppose you're right. I am sorry. Arvin, Karaidon, Maltio. It is a little sad, but I'm afraid this is goodbye. Mom! Farewell, my free adventurers. I bid you, odd you. You just go, Mom. Arvin, you okay, bud? Yeah. Somewhere deep down, I, I kind of already knew it. I knew that thing was fake, but, but it, when it said my name, using her voice and wearing her face, even if it was fake, it felt real, you know. And so I just, I. Sorry. I don't know what I'm saying. That's... that's okay. I guess Karaidon is sad too. Oh, but that battle form, how cool is that? It's so strong! If it tries to nudge at me for a belly rub while it's, while it's huge like this, I seriously think I'm gonna die. Hey now, let's not skip over the big win here. Altium Karadon just saved all of Paldea! Th that's right. You both did amazing. Thanks, Altio. Or thanks, player character. Yeah, that's my bud player character for you. Yeah, that's my bud player character for you. You know, Arvin, um, even though the professor's gone, I bet she's finally having a real fun adventure of her own in the past. Yeah. Thanks, Penny. Um... Yeah, sorry. What should we do now? <laughs> Let's go home. Let's head on out. You said it. Come on, everyone. Let's make our way home. But yeah. A wheel, Sada. Okay, everybody, listen up. What is it? Let's take the long road home and get a little more fun out of this adventure. I don't really... Sounds great. If we can load up on the snacks first, I'm in. Hey, 
Hey, not you too. All right, fine. I guess we're doing this. The game's glitching we're in this cutscene's mood for you. Oh, I did it glitch out pretty bad. I guess we got lucky here, no glitches. You see tonight, it could go either way. Hearts balanced on a razor blade. Man, that's it, huh? We are designed to love and break and to rinse and repeat. Yeah, that's the game. This one had a really, really done done good story. Things don't look up when you go in down. I know you're the music gotcha. Somewhere beyond the clouds, you make me feel like my troubled heart is a million miles away. I guess we'll see you later on if I have to, to mute this segment or what. It's <laughs> funny. Just have a mute, muted portion. Not a bit. Away from the television. I see the light shining through the rain. Yeah, thanks, Sylveon. I, I made it to the credits. What do you know? What do you know? Needed to rise from the lowest place. There's silver lining that surrounds the grave. When I get lost, will it come back round? Things don't look First time in forever. Yeah. So that was actually still a part of main game. I don't guess we'll still gonna do that. Do a little bit of post game. Just a little bit of time for that, I'd say. Yeah, you're right though. It was definitely the first time in forever completed the Pokemon game. And we're looking since like what, 2000? Was it 2003? When did when did Ruby and Sapphire come out again? Yeah. during the, the cutscene and made your character look like Hayachi when the camera cut. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, that would... That would ruin it. And yeah, Toby Fox is in there, isn't this? Just don't tell which song he worked on. Man. That had a fantastic story. That had a much more captivating... This game had a much more captivating story than the previous one. The previous one, I kind of... I got bored with it. Even the Valve Tracks nice. Are you working on the Terra song? Yeah, probably. Anything, anything related to terrestrialization you work on. Absolutely. Electronic earthliness on that thing. Maybe not exactly electronica, but whatever, whatever they, whatever they were, you know. After all that, I think I'm gonna need a quick restroom break and fill on some hydration sauce too. Get up, move around. Now that I'm at the credits, I feel a bit anxious. It's like, man, there goes the adventure. It's ended, and there it is. It's bittersweet, you know. The adventure, the adventure's done. 
completed it, but now it's like, yeah, there's more to play, but man, that's, that's the game, that's, that's it. Pokemon has a continuation aspect to it, but... <sighs> and thank you, treasured friends. Did, did, I didn't even, <laughs> it wasn't even Sword and Shield, but that thing had a, had a meh. I think had a meh uh, story. This one had a far superior story, a much more captivating story. Doesn't say much though, because even like Arceus, anything could be considered better than Gen 8 story. Man. Wow. Ding dong dong ding. Calling students to the director's office. Master Altia, Master Mona, Master Arvin, and Miss Penny. Director Clavel would like to see you in his office. To at least maybe five, you know? So maybe within another two and a half hours? All depending. All depending. But I'd say two and a half hours maximum because I need to make sure I'm going to be able to, you know, collect myself, drive over to the Magic the Gathering pre-release today. I have a pre-release to go to for today and, and Sunday as well. Pretty large, uh, pretty large campus building. Think about it. Why are the male students referred to as master and the females as just miss? It's just something traditional, that's all. I would imagine it's just something, something like something like ultra traditional. I guess they, they figured Mist to be the most, uh... Elegant. But I think... Even, Clavel has even said, I think... Has he ever, has, has he ever said Master Demona? Or was it always ever just Mist Demona? Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. I found no difference in it. It sounds, it sounds respectful enough. In fact, Master does sound like it overdoes it a bit. <laughs> Campus looks really large. So, ha! Looks like the hero's finally here! Toadstool. Toadsworth. Would you care to join us, Master Altio? We're in for near full, aren't we? See, all right, my character gets called Miss. I would, I'd have thought that the male characters would be Sir or something. Fair point. Fair point. You know, Miss and Sir would make a lot more sense. Guess we'll find out soon enough. No need for concern, you two. I'm not angry in the slightest. I merely called you all here to discuss your fine achievements in this year's treasure hunt. You shut down the Professor's time machine and thus prevented the ancient Pokémon from running rampant across Paldea. Your actions were truly outstanding in every regard, and I couldn't be prouder of you all. Though your decision to enter a strictly off-limits area was admittedly regrettable. Heh, <laughs> you've got us there. However, since this was necessary to protect Paldea and its precious ecosystems, I am willing to overlook that particular point. Phew. So we're not getting raked over the coals after all. Oh, before I forget, Master Altio, there's something I would like you to have. Each of your friends has received one already, so this one is for you. Master Ball. Hey, you don't get the Master Ball until, like, way later. I thought the Master Ball was something that was to be unlocked. Hmm. Oh, and about the Hall of Fame badge I gave you a short while ago. That gift is one we bestow only upon students who achieve truly remarkable feats. I expect you to honor what that badge represents by striving always to serve as a model for your fellow students. Splendid. Such enthusiasm will surely take you far in life. And Master Arvin, I was so sorry to hear about the Professor. 
You have my deepest condolences. Ah, uh, well... Yeah, it was pretty rough when I found out my mom had died. But weirdly enough, my head actually feels clear now. For the first time in ages. In the Great Crater, I got to learn a bit about my mom's research and what she was trying to achieve down there. I guess if you're building something as a mind-blowing, I guess if you're, wait, huh. I guess if you're building something as mind-blowing as a time machine, that takes priority over showering your son with attention, huh? All I know is I'm done feeling like some lost little kid. Done. Time to say goodbye and move on. I'm gonna enjoy every last day till graduation with my buds here. And Mabastiff, of course. Well said, Master Arvin. You truly are your mother's son. Of course, I must remind you that you've nowhere near enough credits to graduate. You'll need to study frantically to catch up, but I have every expectation of your success. Uh, what? Ah. And let us not forget the other good news. Our academy has a new champion. Though we sadly cannot make your valiant deeds in the Great Crater known to the public, your new champion rank at least should be celebrated throughout the whole school. Ooh, I know we should how we should celebrate. We should hold a Pokemon battle contest. Seriously, could we not? Classic Nimona. Pokemon battle contest, you say? Well, your own vested interest in such a venture are more than apparent, Miss Nimona. I think it's a fine idea, but please understand that a large-scale event will be quite beyond us. We have many other school activities to keep an eye on, after all. Pardon my intrusion, I couldn't help it over here. Oh, it's, it's her. Pardon my intrusion, I just couldn't help but to over here. The Pokemon League will, of course, happily lend a hand in organizing this contest. La Primera? Well, well. A most kind offer, Chairwoman Rita. Or Chairwoman Gita. I do everything in my power to nurture young, up and coming talent. Though that's not to say only the youth have promise when it comes to Pokemon battles. A former gym leader, the developer of the Pokédex app. This academy clearly counts many skilled trainers of Pokémon among its staff. As such, my suggestion is as follows. Students and staff should compete for the title for str of Strongest Trainer at the Academy. Whoa! We get to battle the teachers? You'd compete too, right, Primero? Is that even allowed? The chairwoman's not part of the Academy, right? Actually, either. Actually, I think she's the chairwoman of the school board as well as of the Pokemon League. Wait, for real? I mean, I knew she was on another level, but... Wow! Thank you for the invitation, Champion Nimona. I would gladly take up your kind offer to compete alongside you all, but... I'm afraid my schedule is already packed tight with work that I simply must attend to. Aww, can't you free up some time somehow? Well, I suppose I might be able to participate if Champion Auto would agree to lend me a hand with my work. Yeah, sure, I can help. Excellent answer. Much obliged, Champion Auto. To get straight to it, I would like you to go out and inspect Paldea's various gyms in my stead. Are they fulfilling their duties as beacons of strength and inspiration for all those aiming to achieve champion rank? Or has their brilliance started to fade? To find this out, I ask that you bring your full might as champion to bear against each of the gym leaders and test their prowess in battle. They are all trainers of exceptional talent, handpicked by me personally. I do not expect you'll find any cracks in their armor, but, well, consider it a formality. This will also provide the perfect stage for your first appearance as a new champion. Since all the gym leaders will still be expecting me to carry out the inspection, I imagine they'll have mustered their full strength. I dare say they might be more of a challenge than when you faced them before. You get to have all our battles with the gym leaders? Man, I'm jealous. Now then, on to another crucial matter. I'd like to discuss with Penny here how to patch the weaknesses in our league point system. Um, but there's a bunch of anime I've missed that I was just gonna binge. 
<laughs> Thank you in advance for your willing and eager cooperation. Yeah, I mean, I'll do it. I'll help. Let me help. Excellent. We'll leave you all to it then. Come now, Penny. You'll, you'll binge the anime later. This is awesome! Show this inspection thing who's boss so that Lucky Mary can join our tournament, okay? And enjoy taking another swing at the gym gauntlet while you're at it. That'd be fun. I'll take care of filling out the forms and other administrative stuff so, so the ball gets a rolling on the tournament in the meantime. I say it's wonderful to see you all showing such initiative. You each have a critical role to play. Penny assisting the league, our new champion inspecting gyms, and Mona arranging the event. Give it your best, everyone. Harvin's like, wait a second. It's my role, so obviously it goes without saying. To cook up food for everybody, and uh, also maybe to, um, yeah, cook, yeah, cook up food for the event, and and uh, maybe maybe go study a bit, and <laughs> get your full marks. Yeah, she's basically. You will help us. And that is final. Hmm. Actually. It's like some of the study was going on here in this room. He's got big old fossils. There's all, all the school stuff to do. <laughs> oh, that. Hey there, come on in. Everyone's welcome in the nurse's office. Her name's Miriam. She gives me complete Iono vibes. It must be her sister or something. What brings you here today? I don't see anything super wrong with you or your Pokemon. Wait, this is your first time here, isn't it? Oh, so I guess you transferred in recently. <laughs> nope. You must be all too, right? Everyone's been talking about you. I've heard all kinds of rumors. Apparently you fell off a cliff right after enrolling in the academy. And even picked a fight with the team star. And won all of it. Oh yeah, you started your treasure hunt thing, right? Come tell me about anything super interesting you find out there in your adventures. <laughs> I'm kind of bored just sitting in here all day, you know? I don't have any classes to teach, and students only come here to skip class. So yeah, drop by if you can. Deal? Deal. Poor nurse. The students call Nurse Miriam Mimi. I tried using that nickname with her once, but she just glared at me. Don't call the nurse Mimi. Got it. All this, all this out of place. <laughs> School stuff that I never visited for these cutscenes. Oh, why hello, Master Otio. How is your treasure hunt coming along? Having all sorts of fun adventures, I hope. Yeah, it's been great. Wonderful. I am glad to hear it. It's more after t taking lessons. Oh, jeez. Do keep in mind that the treasure hunt has no set course or criteria you must follow. Simply go where your heart takes you, and you shall do splendidly. Speaking of such pursuits, there's been something on my mind of late. If I could ask for your expertise on the matter, I would be most grateful. You see, I recently heard a word of... a word whose meaning escapes me. I believe it to be some sort of slang. Tell me, what does... Chugi mean? Ah, I think I understand. 
For both speaker and recipient, it is not a pleasant word, I take it. The words used by young people these days are quite often beyond my comprehension. But when I learn the meanings behind the words, I find that I feel that much closer to my students. I am most grateful to you for your help on that front. bit. Hello, <laughs> Ah, hello, hello. Jacques, has you gotten used to the things here at the Academy or two? Great. Glad to see you're having fun. Oh, have you been using the Pokédex app? I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm the one who made it, you know. Every time someone using the app catches a Pokémon, that data gets sent to me. It's really helping with my Pokémon research. My Pokémon research. I, I, I'm, I'm struggling on a French-ish kind of sounding accent because of his name. So, be sure to catch any new Pokémon you find and work on filling in your Pokédex. For your first score, let's aim for, say, 30. Register 30 Pokemon in your app. Let me know once you've done so. Um, it sure have. <laughs> you've already registered 30. <laughs> wow, so you caught these kind of Pokemon, and this one, all this data. And this is the best. Ah, uh, sorry about that. I got a little excited there. I get the feeling that you're going to be a great help in my Pokemon research. Yeah, take these. Consider it my way of saying things. What does he? What does he give you? Oh, we got false swipe. What does he? What does he help you with when you? Uh, um. Yeah. What does, what does he help you with when it comes to? Uh, when you get the full decks. What does it give you? You sure are good at catching Pokemon, aren't you? For your next goal, let's aim for a hundred species. Remember, when you find a Pokemon you've never seen before, give a Pokeball a throw! You've already said a hundred species of Pokemon. Yup! Ah, little Pokemon, big Pokemon! Oh, you even have data on Pokemon of this specific size? So much data, so much to analyze! Don't take him to Area Zero, he'll want one of them robots. Ah, sorry about that, I got a little excited there. My Pokemon research is moving forward at a great pace, thanks to your efforts. My mom texted myself about the cardiology office for my grandmother. Fantastic. Yeah, take these. Consider it my way of saying thanks. I actually need more Ultra Balls. Thank you. I know that's a tunnel. let's aim for 200. I know that's a tall order, but keep tossing those Pokeballs and don't give up. Oh, I see you've already registered 200. Yep. I don't think I got the 300, though. Wow, Pokemon from the mountains. Pokemon from the sea. Wait, what? No way! You have found Pokemon in a place like this? In a place like this? Ah, sorry about that. I got a little too excited there. My Pokemon research is moving along super duper splendidly thanks to you. Here, take this. Consider my way of saying thanks. Peak balls. You're a bona fide Pokemon catching professional. Oh, now you just want me to jump from 200 to 400. Okay. This is no easy feat, but I'm sure you can do it. Yeah, maybe I can get 400 at some point. That'd be cool. Maybe then some spare time. Just a little side thing to do every now and again. The director's all up more time. <laughs> I think I'll head out and catch for a restroom break, too. Ah, Master Ultio, how kind of you to stop by. I must say, I am pleased to see you on school grounds again. 
Travel and adventure certainly have their place. But it does no it does one good to attend class as well, no? Speaking of which, there is something I would very much like to ask you. I understand you have joined a variety of classes during your time here at the Academy. But if I may ask, which of our faculty members has made the most favorable impression on you? Um No, no Mr. Haswick, he's just a good dude. Oh, Mr. Hassel from art class, you say? Yes, he is a fine teacher, a most passionate and enthusiastic fellow. We are truly blessed to have so many wonderful teachers here and staff members at Naranha Academy. I firmly believe that our faculty is second to none in their commitment to our students' ongoing education and well-being. Thank you very much for sharing your thoughts, Master Altio. Oh, yeah, thank you. And you're welcome. Thank you and you're welcome. I just talk to him again while I'm here. Thank you for the visit, Master Altio. A good friend of mine has been telling me of your recent exploits. Haha, <laughs> I'll leave their identity to your imagination. But now, lest I forget, there is another matter I would very much like your opinion on. <laughs> kind of wanted you to, like, talk to him. <laughs> or go back and visit the school in between doing things. Like, adventure a bit, take a break. Adventure a bit, take a break. Do you know what manner of gentleman's hairstyle is considered cool, as it were, among the youth these days? Oh, -ho! pompadours, you say? I suspected as much. Though I don't seem to recall any of the Academy's male students sporting such a style. Could it be, then, that the Pompadour has already had its day in the sun? Perhaps I ought to consider a change of wit. Ah, uh, that is to say, never mind. Thank you for your insight, Master Altio. It was most enlightening. Where does the road end? Thank you again for your outstanding work on Operation Starfall. I cannot tell you how relieved I am that we were able to help Miss Penny as we did. And I know she is exceedingly grateful to you for your part in all this. So, I have one more thing to ask of you, though the request is admittedly of delicate nature. Do you think you could continue being good friends with Miss Penny as you have thus far? I must say, I am truly glad to have you as one of my students at the Academy. I believe you have, you've more than earned this small token of my appreciation. Small token is a big nugget. Big nugget. That's, that's actually a rather, rather large gold ball. A big nugget of pure gold gives it a lust, lustrous gleam. I hope that you will always stay just as wonderful as you are now, Master. the end of it there. Cool, cool. Yeah, speaking of items, yeah. Cool, the items. That was a good nap. Smells like... Oh, the giraffe ring. Come on in, everyone's welcome in the nurse's office. Hmm, have you toughened up a bit? Oh, so you know you so you know your tough stuff, huh? <laughs> but seriously, you look a bit different. I bet it's because of all the crazy experiences you're having on your treasure hunt. Yeah, you can call them crazy, alright. You need to tell me all about what you've been up to. Well you see I saved the world and Wow, that's super cool. I sure am jealous of you kids. You get to try out new things every single day. Me, on the other hand, I actually wanted to become a teacher. I'm just a school nurse, you know. I 
can't teach classes or anything like that. I couldn't pass the certification exam to become an actual health teacher. I took it so many times, but no luck, so here I am, stuck forever in the nurse's office. Oh, uh, sorry, I guess this isn't a very fun thing to talk about. But you're just such a good listener, I find myself telling you all kinds of stuff. I hope you'll still come to see me, even if I talk your ears off like this. I don't know, we're trying to finish her storyline. I guess the entrance all low. Oh, hey! Sorry, were you looking for me? I've been away from the nurse's office lately. Did you need something from me? No, not really. What? But then why'd you come over to talk? Oh well, I'll help your Pokemon anyway. Thank you. Here you go, a little first aid. You must really be having an adventure out there, judging from those scrapes and cuts. Hey, what's your question? Huh? Oh yeah, I guess it's pretty unusual for me to be out here, out of the nurse's office like this. <laughs> well, I'm actually doing a bit of studying. I thought I'd try my best at the health teacher certification exam one more time. Do it! Just so you know, it's totally not because I'm inspired by a certain somebody working hard at their treasure hunt, okay? Well, maybe I am just a little bit. So you know, uh, thanks, yeah. Oh, my break time's almost over. I know you'll be cheering me on. Go, go, go be a teacher. Yeah, Union Circle? Sure. I get some Union... Union... I was about to say Unicycle. Get some Unima Circle. Uh, things on up in here. We're going fine. So I have to go retry gym stuff anyways. I wonder how beefed are they are. How to change Coridon's form. If you select Coridon while the main menu is open, you can have a change between its battle form and its ride. No. Oh. Your HDMI I fell out of the TV and you're too short. <laughs> well, that's why we need friends. Tall friends! Now, if something falls in the small space you can't reach, that's why we need small friends! Actually, I can just go straight to Union Circle from here now. Uh, I think I'll turn the autosave back on, because... Set up to the options. I say when? Okay, fair enough, fair enough, but, uh... Yeah, it's weird, you can't just, like, turn on Union Circle. A lot of people to just enter, and everyone has to, like, enter in at the same time. And all that. Yeah, there's besides just yourself, is anyone else willing to hop in? Why the heck not? With that, I think I am actually gonna go hit the restroom right now. Get this good song playing. And then uh so now's a good time for everyone to go go grab some snacks. You know, go grab some uh, some water hydration sauce or other any other nice drinks you have, like an iced tea that I've got here or anything. And then uh, take take a break as well, a quick restroom, and now uh, we'll I'll we'll be right back in a bit, eh? So all right, see you all in just a few moments.
Okay, I'm gonna try to get back on the line here. Got your diploma, huh? Got your diploma in, in terms of um, for the Pokédex and whatnot. Congratulations! It's a pretty cool picture they gave you too. Ready to get back online and get started up here. Just uh, you just take your team Azuzoro, Colossal, and Golden Go. What even? <laughs> that is quite the team, yeah. I wonder how I wonder how many um coins I have for the, for the gimmick goal, the gimmick ass coins. Let's bring this down for a bit. No matter if I sit here for a bit for a text or whatnot. Mr. Toon here is back. Oh, I think he's on the phone, so if everyone wants to say hi to Toon, then I'll, I'll forward it to him. I'm good. How have you been? Yeah. Here, you said you were sick as, uh, as more bad letters I'm not going to say right now. <laughs> it says hi, Toon. I win. <laughs> yep, Josh me wins. Hey, look. Friends feeling better? Awesome. That's good news. Oh, okay, so you weren't Okay. <laughs> so you're going to type, okay, type so one more thing. Sick. Messages. Right, so <sighs> I have to say, speaking of, speaking of stuff, my stomach's feeling a bit weird. But I feel like maybe it's just uh, just some fun of kicking and doing stuff. So you, oh, I've got to hit the button. Reminds me of the R button and all that stuff. Uh, L, actually, L to connect. So on day with friends. Oh, you okay? So this week wouldn't work for you regardless, right? What's up, Lacey? How it goes? How you doing? So, that would be next week. What? Army group. I wanted to make sure. Is that the set or is that All something All right. Union Sir is going to be the song and dance now. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's what we should next do. Week together. Should group. Um, there's the code. There's the code. But yeah, good to see ya. Are you ready for a fantastic weekend there, Lacey? And only, uh, I guess that also means that it only puts us one week away from the next Splatfest, which was only even a month ago. Uh, just kind of surprising, really. So we had... Everybody else wants to join, and now's your time to speak up while I chat for a bit. So that puts us at, what, the fourth Splatfest, right? We had Gear Grub Fun. Uh, just make sure I didn't miss out on anything, right? Now I'm already, I'm already trying to think about all the, the teams that we had. So we had Gear Grub Fun. Uh, thumbnail. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. We'll need Thumbnail. Something for later. Something for later. Some other time. I know those don't technically take too much uh, too much work for you. But it's just a little bit of like color change and asset swaps and whatnot. I think you made a really really useful set of assets out of that that thumbnail. That's eas relatively easily interchangeable. Yeah, that would, that would only be four, right? Am I, have I, I want to make sure I haven't lost count. 
not including the uh killer picking is hard oh i understand i understand you're fine <laughs> right 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 not best effects haven't kicked in a little oh i see i see other than that you're, you're right okay good as long as you're doing as long as you're doing a bare minimum par for the course all right um but i'm trying to think we had um one thing was gear grub fun second one was was it just the scarlet violet one right Pokemon. 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 But yeah, rock paper scissors was the was the pre theme though, which kind of counts. Also, kind of doesn't. I'm I'm uh, except for the test fire. No, rock paper scissors was the test fire. I don't know. Did we, did we get rock paper scissors anyways? Yeah, okay, it's the fourth. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we just had the uh, spicy, sweet, sour, and now, now dark milk or white chocolate. All the other ones were really, really spread out. It's like, it's like, have one this month, don't have one. Have one this month, don't have one. Then have one, then have one again. So, huh. Interesting one. On the least, so yeah, it's a, it's already the fourth one, only the fourth one. It's it's a bit weird because the other ones were a bit spaced out, but I, mean, I guess that means we are getting the big one in March. Then, like, are we not getting something? We're gonna get another spy fest in April, and whatnot. Like, what's the timing feels really, really interesting. All right, then we'll start with this. Let's see where it places us on the map. Shout out to Chick-fil-A for having an extra burrito available, give it them giving it the tune and tune passing it on to me. Is interesting. I feel like that's the exact kind of uh, Pokemon that Grusha would like to have. Hmm. This Pokemon reminds me of like a very golden pseudo Wudo. I swear to you, this Pokemon reminds me of literally just gold-plated pseudo Wudo. I can't stop thinking that, that that's the case. Hmm. Wacky, wavy, inflatable, inflatable balloon guy. <laughs> yeah. That too. Does it stay just pure ghost, or does it become like ghost steel or anything, because it's made of gold now? Hmm! Nice, it does gain the steel. Awesome! I thought so. I thought so. It wouldn't make sense for it to not, you know? I also just look for the high number count. There it is. 
That should make the bottom right. 405. I got I got a ways to go. I got a lot of ways to go. They call you Champion Jaws me now. Huh. Oh, yeah, they do. Just call you champion. Thanks, Nurse Joy. <laughs> and that you have a Hall of Fame badge, you have, have unlocked the judge function for you. Boxes. You can press the plus button twice to navigate to and check the individual po the individual strength and character you put. Or did you already know that? Well, I do hope you I hope my little bits to come in handy. Yeah, I'd like to buy a lot, a lot of stuff, please. For the premiere bed. Much appreciated. Your Azumar your, uh, has okay stats? Nice. Okay. I think okay is one of the worst ratings. Oh. Boxes? Oh, that's all. Okay, boxes. Boxes to check? I must have missed that part. I see, I see. In the box. Huh. I think it's best attack and special defense. What are some of the words we've seen here? We probably have like, okay, decent, pretty good. There are very good, pretty good. I would say it would, it would do it the other way. So we have okay, decent, pretty good, very good, fantastic, and best. We'll let you know if you have a full IV thing, like full way through. When you like, it lets you know kind of how far along it is. Wow. Does say below? Yeah, good stats. Great stats. Okay, good and great. Okay, so that's, that's kind of like in Pokemon Go where you only get the three-star system, right? <clears throat> so 
So if, it were, if you were to base this entire Pokemon on like a, on a one out of three scale, this would tell you it's either one, two, or three. Oh, look at that attack! No good. <laughs> it has zero IVs in attack. Found a Serena with amazing stats. Nice. This thing has the best possible defense. I knew this snake was top tier. I knew this snake was pretty, pretty top tier. Yeah, look at, look at, look at Lucario here. The attack is no good. <laughs> That's hilarious. Cyclozar overall was only, only uh, pretty good. It was a pretty, pretty. I thought the cycle was pretty phenomenal. This was only kind of average or above average, but it's still not bad. Even this was only pretty good. Even Azumar was only pretty good, but the best, apparently the best one here is Ampharos. It doesn't even need the decent attack, but it's like, cool. It's got... It's got best, best, best in three categories. It's a three out of six IV Ampharos, huh? stuff. This will come with Franklin that's like in great status. <laughs> good boy has lots of pretty good, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Good stats. Good boy. <laughs> good doe boy. Best in HP, attack, defense, very good. Okay, Scyther. Yeah, really. Maybe you can have a special attacker site there, but that would almost seem pretty possible <laughs> to accommodate. You have an amazing stat, so Viper. Kind of jelly. No, nah, no, nah, it's fine. You can keep. You can keep. But maybe I could. <laughs> maybe, maybe if I ever can make a competitive team, sure, sure, we'll swap the Vipers. And then you can release my Viper. <laughs> you won't use? Okay, okay. I know there's no point training, you actually have a completed dex. Um, yeah, here, here, if you have an amazing stats, it's a Viper, go ahead and trade me. We'll trade, we'll trade the, I'll get rid of Bad Land and swap over. Are all the legendaries guaranteed to be the same? Uh, no, I think they are not, actually. I have, I have no clue about, the only person we could ask here is either Sylveon or Professor. The sassy Flappy was uh, when we had okay stats. No shame. Yes, yes, Sylveon, I actually did mention you. I was like, only only you or Professor would know. Uh, Joshua was wondering if all, all the legendaries, are all the legendaries guaranteed to be the same, have the same stats, have the same IVs and whatnot? I was, I was thinking, no, they don't. People usually stat calculator them after capturing them if they're really concerned about using them, right? Torbo's pretty good. You have an amazing stat Sylveon, nice. Oh, that's poor Mastiff. The Chinese perfect stats. Remember your Tatsu? Yeah. All of its stats are fantastic. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> Carry. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> Dino.
You got a four out of five, huh? Everything everything is best except for special defense and speed. Dang. Mostly like, oh, this stuff is okay. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, okay stuff. Go look for a decent life rougher. You have a 5-6 Dodonzo. You have a 5 IV Dodonzo. Nice! You have a 5, you have a 5 perfect IV Dodonzo. That, that's, that's, that's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah, the Shellos is pretty good. He's got great stats. Look at the 5 out of 6 Cinderace. Dang. In some some categories, though. Yeah. Okay, then, uh, then bye bye. Alton Veluza. Get the best possible speed and best possible attack and best possible special attack? Decent HP or defense, then what happens? But not done, you need me. That's the other three things you need. At least need the best speed and best attack. Having the best HP would have been nice, but... In box 7 with the others. I'm only in box... It's in box 5. Stats. Best in three, pretty good. No, there's very good in the All right, we keep this moth around. Only good stuff on this Noivern. Two bests there. Only a uh, decent attack, but oh, it's got a three out of three out of six. It's not, it's not much of an attacker, but it's. It's got the, it's got the best 
in HP and defense, both defenses. Decent speed. Hmm. This one says, says amazing for having three out of four. But then I guess because it has others that are also pretty good and very good. This district one was an annoying. Three three bests though. But the two decents really really take it down a notch. Would you would want it to have a best also in defense. That can be trained upwards now because bottle caps and hyper training. I think this is one of the rolls that a professor had created. Four IVs. as high as peak. Fair enough. That's what happens when you when you breed Pokemon. Look at that. Four four best of IVs. A viper. It's much better than the other one. Huh. Put a lichen rock. Some best though. There's no good defense. Like oh, ouch. Oh man. Cloister. It's much more of a normal attacker, so it's got got some bests in all the all the right spots. Wow. Poor Pikachu. <laughs> the bro has great some oh, okay stats. Oh, this primate is actually really good, but it needs more training on its on its uh, attack. That's a shame. Corviknight, why? I knew this Flamigo was really good. I knew it. Didn't have any bests, but it's still sol it's solid all around. Is what it is. Hey! Scyther got an amazing stat thing. It's, it's got best and special attack, but it's still solid all around. Best speed, best defense. This 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 can go or this haunter originally came from Professor. Uh wow. He knows how to he knows how to do the breeding calculation for Pokemon. Jeez. There's a five IV Pokemon. Not that it needs a physical defense anyways, but 
think the attack is where you want to leave, would try to leave it out, but man. Wow. It's the best special defense, huh? It's better attack than it's special attack. <laughs> Lol. Oh, this poor Salazzle. Needs a lot of hyper training. Okay, let's see what I caught. Three bests. Wow, nice. And some good categories, too. Lacks the HP, but. Hyper training! Cool. Aw. I finally looked, looked at all of them. Sorry about that. The dumbest now. Saw's buck. There we go. Oh, this won't work out though. The three six and like twenty behind, uh, twenty above that. Never mind. So there. All right, I'll head up there. Yeah, I'm just running. You're good for now, Saw's buck. I'll try throwing some of the Pokemon in here. Based on the area. <laughs> Never melt ice. Was happy. It's interesting though, I kind of can't interact with the uh. I have to like run around a bit or do something. There's like, give me a gold coin, I can't get it. Eh, how about later? Just on the verge, but I 
Yeah, see, seeing the partial loadings of the map is actually pretty pretty nifty. <laughs> Only one coin. Sheesh. I guess the only way to get coins is to go beat up, uh, to beat up things. Hmm. Alright, let me swap in some Pokemon here. Try to swap in some team a bit. Salazzle with the dude. The guy who does the hyper training. Gotta run around a bit, huh? Nice invisible wall you got there. No. I wonder if I still need to try and capture one of these or not. Guess I still do. The 
This one just evolved to a Glaceon, won't it, if I'm up here in the cold area? I might, I might need a... Oh, I hope it doesn't evolve to a Glaceon. Hmm. I need to cap this thing. I'm gonna take on a few gym leaders and I'll call the day. And I'll probably, that'll probably be the Pokemon so I can find a way to move on over to uh, Majora's Mask. Critting so hard. Photobombing on purpose. <laughs> Yo, what up? I'm going to just uh, heal. I think I'll take one more poison damage and maybe I get the capture. Streaming today. I wonder when you're streaming. Yet. All right, that seems close enough. It might. It might last one more. Through one more uh, poison tick, but yeah, I figured the Ultra Ball should probably take care. Snow hat Pokemon. It is said that several snow run gather under giant leaves and live together in harmony. Nope. Box, please. Another um, one of them. Um, I don't know. I don't know the name of the thing that grows into a bomb of snow. I only know a bomb of snow. I see another one. I'm gonna try and capture it. Right. It's a toddle becomes a tank. So that's it. Poke you. Oh yeah. You know what? I should go out of my way and try to find a um, armor robe. Capture your cup chew for Because I'm dumb. All 
All right. Well, I'm gonna go look for some armor rogue. Do you want to join in? Armor rogue with a bug type, Terra. Hmm. It's supposed to be dark, I guess. Hmm, what would be one of the best possible options? It's also something I haven't seen here as an outbreak. I'm gonna head there first, and maybe... There's any electrical special attacks I can give to an armor rogue as an electrical terror type. Uh, I have to go search up here somewhere. Get them, get them legendaries, right? There's no reopening. All right. Castle ruins. Spirit tomb. Ooh. No! It just offs itself with Memento and makes your stats fall. Man. Okay, I've had this one before. Okay, where did it respawn? Make Gengar grow strong, but uh, we'll try it. <laughs> You're sitting on the rock. Right on there. I guess not. I'm not. I'm not gonna worry about it. Still partially sad though. Hmm. 
Anton, your ancestor is annoying, just so you know. Oh, did you catch an Azuril? Is, is, is Azumarill on your roster right now for your picnics? Because if not, yeah, then I was going to say it's, def it's definitely me. That, that, that's definitely for my Azumarill. So my Pokemon can contribute to eggs in your basket. Well, there you go. Uh, no, that's all right. It's all good. Thanks, though. Magneton. Magnet Pokemon. Three Magnemite are linked by a strong magnetic force. Ear aches will occur if you get too close. I want you. Sure, sure, I'll take it then. <laughs> trade right here right now Going to someone named Thomas. Where's the Magneton, Thomas? Keep just you know, trading over to surprise trade. Nifty. Should be able to just search and it'll send me to you, right? Yeah, okay. Uh, have this really good Torkoal! <laughs> I'm getting rid of all the fire tortoises. Stats turned out for this uh, Azuril. Oh, 
Awesome. All right, then I'm going to go over. I'm going to go try and finish up and get one of the legendary Pokemon and face one of the... Uh... And I want to double check a bit what the stats were. Surprise trades got... Surprise trade got completed. Therian. Oh, an interesting username, Therian. Hey, Wiglet. Schligda. So it's a German Wiglet. Interesting. out of four down in this area. Not Artisan. Down by this marshland. Yeah, I'm sending out Badlandia. I'm like, you know what? Let's see where Badlandia can go. Maybe Badlandia can find a good home. I think that'd be pretty cool. They will be missed or not. <laughs> That's the... Uh, yeah, we'll see what we get out of it. Hmm. An Eevee. Make him make a Leafy on all that. Send up the a decent EV. Wow, cool. Thank you. Huh. See, I'm sure. I'm, I'm sure that must have been a surprising move that I sent out a. Uh, Badlandia of, of them all. But that's right, there's another Badlandia in the waiting <laughs> on your side. Since you have the incredible Badlandia over there, you can rename it. Well, I will restock on Badlandia. Whoa! This thing quote has amazing stats. It's all very good. Pretty good at Fantastic and the Best. I wouldn't call it amazing. I'd call that good or great. I have a good bad Landia. Good Landia? Yeah, that, that sounds good. That, that's a good name. Agreed. Good Landia. Okay, is that on Box 8. Keep doing surprise trade and hopefully like fill up the decks one at a time. These things are fast. Things are absolutely fast. Going to Freya. Hmm. A dealing. Hmm. 
Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I've been looking things over with the judge function and... Check this! Doesn't it doesn't say amazing, but I was like, oh, I'm impressed. And for us, always comes through. The Gengar you sent over has 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 your handiwork written all over it. Is it your stuff now? Freaks you tonight? Yeah, if you're willing to if you're willing to be there, I'll be there. I thought I thought maybe you would prefer to go on Sunday. But uh. By all means. That or Saturday, but I can't do Saturday. So, I'm going tonight? I can, I can understand why. I hate menus, but I love Zorua. <laughs> Guess one thing overrides the other, doesn't it? Again with Hizui and Zerua. Your team will literally just be two Pokemon. It'll be Zerua, Hizui, and Zerua. That's it. Okay, maybe a shiny version of each two. <laughs> you gonna go eat? Alright, have a great eat. I just grab, grab myself one. I'm gonna have to buy a small snack to have during the event, too. Shinies and Zoroarks, too. It's right, right, so. One of each Zerua, uh, Zorarks, and then a shiny of each of the Zorarks. Zerua pair, Zorark pair, shiny Zorark pair. Or maybe just the shinies and then pair pair or something. <laughs> just, just. This one has good stats as compared to... Stragmar had the, had the best possible attack, though. <laughs> Alright, Meryl, make your way back out into the world. Find you your home. Alright. I'm going to try and find some things that at least capture one legendary. a bit later. Oops, bumped into something. Well, I'm about to change back to my normal team, because the legendary is going to be pretty high level, huh? This is probably the last one I was missing, huh? It's an ominous black stake driven into the ground. We pull out the stake. Uh, let's see, I gotta buy 
this way. Do search around, right? Oh, was it? Did the game just freeze? Let's try and capture one legendary while we're here. Sure, sure. So, I'm gonna move a destination off the map. Should I just track to your position then? I never considered that I got to the destination. Probably all gonna be in this mountain, huh? Six, nice. Probably because of your ditto. Your ditto have really great stats. If, if your Zeru itself doesn't have it, I forget. I forget how things transfer over. Professor would have to tell you. It's the ditto. Sweet. Must be the ditto. Retrieve the steak. Hear it sizzle. The sizzling steak has vanished due to hunger. I'm a floating great ball. Ha! It's hilarious. I still a floating great ball. So you can blow that thing right off the map. So that's going to be the body trainer.
Hey, we'll have to try the, the Alma Rogue uh, challenges. Being able to this direction makes sense. Yeah, those were the two I needed. Thanks so much. Don't know anywhere else. Hey, no problem. That makes it, that's what kind of makes it fun. Trying to find them in the other areas is going to be interesting. Basically, one in each corner of the map, right? Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Expertise in the memory of those two specific ones. Worked out. The history teacher gives the locations of just the shrines, right? Just the shrines. But if you have an idea of where the shrines are, that should give the idea of, like, where to look for the stakes. And in those two locations, the stakes have never been higher! Scatterbug protein <laughs> instead of scatterbug powder. Stone. I'm gonna see if I can maybe I can fight it. Menus. Right. No, please. Not the quad weakness. What? It just happened. Switch. Go back to being a ghost. Shiny charm. No, nah, no, nah, that's fine. That's fine. Never caught a shiny, anyways. <laughs> Never nat naturally bumped into a, a non give me shiny. Like the red Gyarados or the shiny ponytail of Arceus. Houndstone, ghost dog Pokemon. Houndstone spends most of its time sleeping in graveyards. Among all the dog Pokemon, this one is most loyal to its master.
Uh, no, no nickname. Actually, I have thought of a nickname. Name it Doggone. <laughs> yeah, what's your summary, though? Stop and tantrum. I'm just trying to get like a hundred Zeroos and hug them. <laughs> Zeru party. Side effects of so many <laughs> Well, we know your totem Pokemon now. <laughs> we don't have an exact, uh, exact fire dark type to match you, but <laughs> I'd say that, that that'll that'll be a good close one then. So maybe there's a difference between favorite and totem, but you know. It's in on that weird Chinese fish or fire dart. There's a fish Pokemon that's... I can't understand Incineroar, but a, a fish Pokemon being Fire Dark? It's one of the legendaries. Oh. Oh, I guess I'd have to go take a look at that. I don't, I don't think I've seen that one. But that kind of makes sense. That's good very much work. Alright, um, I'm going to make sure my boxes are sorted in a good spot and all that. Houndstone, you need to move along over to some other spot. Right there. Right there. Um, portal. Trade, and then I'll have to go run around and look some more. Urenzol. Urenzol. A Cyclozar? My man. I think this, this Cyclozar can cycle its way over to another trainer. Quite enjoy mine. Surprise trades are interesting, though. They, uh... They're fast, too. So they're nice in the set and then just fast with annoying menus. Fair enough. Fair enough.
wonder if any of the purple stone, what purple things would be over here, because there was one just over here with those. Finally here, I'll check south. Or, you know, let me go to the bug lady first. Game gym battles like. Let's see if her levels are like super crazy. And I'll go back look, trying to try to get one legendary done before the stream ends. And we can end it probably close to 30 minutes from now. You're standing right here. Hello there, my name is Katie and I'm the owner of Patisserie Soberry. Oh, the new champion everybody's talked about is actually you, sweetie. Sure is. Hooray, I guess correctly. I suppose that makes sense though. You sure were strong. You really looked like you were enjoying yourself when you tried my sweets too. People like that always have great potential. So you're here on the errand for the top champion, are you? I had completely forgotten that, that she was supposed to be going around for inspections. Thankfully, I just happened to be here today to give cakes to my staff. Whew, lucky me. Very well then. Is it time for me to get a taste of our new champion strength? Yes. Hey, hey, oh, what fun. Let's go somewhere more suited for battling. Okay, we're going up, uh, going up to the, the battle spot above the cafe. I don't know, see I guess if her her levels change or not. I remember your olive rolling past very well. You had such vigor. It was almost as if you had terrestrialized into a fighting type yourself. How many gyms had you been to when you first came here to mine? Was it your first? The Cortanda gym is close to the academy, so many young traders just starting out like to come here first. With that in mind, La Primera asked me to go soft on trainers, like a nice sponge cake. I feel sad for my sweet little bugs, though, since that means they quite often lose their battles. <laughs> but opportunities like this get me excited because I can finally show my true skill. Allow me to knead you into submission. Expect me to be sweet today and don't cry when you taste bitter defeat. Oh, she was. Oh, she's. They're actually. They're actually up in the 60s. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. I'm gonna have to hit restart though because my team is not ready at all. It's just like, well, let me let me just see. Let me see what's up. Nope. Nope, can't be done. Oh yeah, that's right, I was in... Oh my goodness, I'm sorry. I'm an idiot, I completely forgot. Um, uh, <laughs> oops. All right, well, I'll just set my team back to normal and I'll try that out again. Oh, that's too idiot. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Oh, why not? 
hot. Okay. Oh, man. I guess I could check out that surprise train and see what came of it, and then, uh... Just about it. They are gonna be pretty, pretty tough, aren't they? I'll tell you what, if I lose it, I lose it. That, that It is what it is. I didn't have to do any resets or anything throughout the entirety of the game up until... Thankfully and luckily up until the, uh... The AI, the final boss. Speed of catching Ditto. Fair enough. You know, there's only 28 minutes left. So you can join back in if you'd like. And if you if you don't, that that's fine. Sorry about that. Um, <laughs> Sheesh. The pain on breeding is now neutral. Fair enough. The means hate walking loves the ruins. <laughs> Are you going to start naming all of them individually? <laughs> you're going to fill up all your boxes and your home menu? <laughs> like, if you have Pokemon Home, you're just going to fill all those with the Zerua, too? And the Zerua, he... 35 of them, no. Not going to name them, not going to fill the boxes. Fair enough. Save a little bit of room for the Zooian versions, though, right? Oh, you poor random trainer, you. Battle me for my for I <laughs> Battle me! For I have given my Pokemon a mighty item to hold! And I am mighty! Severino the office worker. Let's see how good you can make one. Ah I guess Professor's prediction came true. I was gonna make one, but I, then I got a feeling that she'll probably just make her own. And I was like, nah, you're not that interested in that. I'd probably still make a Sarua. And then lo and behold, you're like, oh, let's see how good you can make one. I'm like, oh, maybe maybe he's right. You were eventually gonna get like, oh, you're making all these Arua. Let's see if I can. Let's see how good I can I can make out of one. <laughs> how do they have the judge function and all that? Hmm. Hmm. No, but hey, at least, at least it was right though, it. I can figure that, figure that would only be for Zerua, so. My might and my items meant nothing in the face of a mighty trainer like you! you know, I have to give credit where credit is due. Uh, his protection was a bit more spot on. I was thinking, nah, no way, man. Nah, you could totally make the thing. Wouldn't matter.
Before I try the Jimmy, let me just try this raid. This will be good, completely tough to I'm gonna get those last things in, huh? But yeah, I think this will... Stop getting through. No, do all the zero stuff you like. It's your game. Do as you please. Just messing around and see what happens. Nothing wrong with that. Tried for other things, just the Hazuians, or maybe not, you know? Just. Yeah, go ahead, it's your Pokemon game, do as you please. Because for everyone else out there, maybe the only way to get into Pokemon reading is to, for each individual, is to try to do that, try to make their a, a greater, you know, best possible version of their favorite Pokemon. Pokemon have the same sound in their cries. For all, as well as all the iron Pokemon, plus Icon, the iron Pokemon have the same sound in their cries. Really? It's a five star? Ooh, I was having trouble with a four star. Higher level, higher level though. Give you the option if you want to join in or not. If not, then I'll try it alone. For ghost type, so. All the ancient Pokemon have their original cries. You can't hear any difference. Oh, okay, huh. Do we need headphones? sense. Okay. I have to get three attacks in first before I can, like, terastalize and hit with ghost attack, but we'll see. Fair enough, Zuma's really good in this game. I 
I didn't make it to the rationalization. I'm like, dang. You have normal on now. Special defense keeps falling, so... Let's see if I can do a uh, heal. Challenge with that one. <laughs> good, good friend. The violet version. Friend's uh, still best sword. Pro Profion. <laughs> Sorry about that, I guess I'm just not high enough level for this. Oh well. It's a good go, it actually didn't go that bad as we thought it would, you know? Or as I thought it would. I was like, oh, it's a five star, Mike. We did try it. We did very much try it. It didn't, um, didn't go that bad. Because that could have been an absolute wash, and it's like, it was. I was actually starting to chug along. I'm like, ooh, maybe there's a chance we could we could get it done, but eh, that's all right. It'll be interesting to uh, try that again sometime over the weekend. I think it's lasting all the way up through Sunday, so there's always more chances. Always more chances. I just have to grind up them levels and get the get my Pokemon pow up there, so they're good to go. Also, do com do the, some of the hyper training and whatnot over in the mountains. But hey. Thanks for help trying that out with me there. So if any of you want your Armor Rogue or Cerule Edge based on the ver version you're playing, all the way up through this, this Sunday. And we're going. Here. Let's go to Cartondo itself. And uh, I guess I'll just fight the gym leader and that'll probably end up being it. Probably any time to find the last remaining uh, uh, magical seal and catch a legendary. There's some small loaves just sitting up in the corner of the building there, perched like birds. What are the small loaves doing up there? Silly small loaves. Yes, Akati, we're going to battle you again. And I'm probably going to lose and I'm going to cry myself to sleep, but it's okay. Yeah, when they fight you here, they're all in like the level 60s and everything. Good to know. It's nice to see that, yeah, um, the gym leaders actually have a side to them that that, like, here's the Pokemon and as they're supposed to be. Like, here's a relative level scale for this particular gym. Now, when we fight them, they actually have, like, 
Okay, I like, just like the chance. I like the idea that it's a chance to show them for them to show their actual full battle front. And not not that way. These generally there's like these that are at the bottom, kind of in the bottom rung. Aren't just left being like, oh, yeah, those are weaker kills. Like kind of stuff. Oh, they actually have some prowess to them. shot everything here on out like stop stop trying to like i'm gonna run out of stuff even though i have ethers Sandwiches. <laughs> it survived. Ah, cause sturdy. Smart. No. <laughs> Crosses are pretty strong Pokemon now. But uh Park has a lot of buffs on its on its torch song, so. your new form as if you were a bug emerging from its cocoon. Certainly you were sad upon and now you can't find it. Oh, man. Well, I'm sure it'll turn up very easily. If it doesn't, I want to have someone contact it. Oh, I see that. That's what I was on it. more of a... You found it. I get it. Ursaring's trick is. Because you just took a normal type Pokemon and made it a buff. 
I see you have a merge with your chrysalis and become a beautiful new you. Okay, if, um, take a normal type and make it bug, like... I wonder what moves it has. Maybe it just has coverage moves to help against bug predators. That was quite the battle. I must say that your skill rivals that of even La Primera. Ah, uh, how sweet it is to battle without holding back. Even if I end up losing, I am beginning to think that going too soft on people may be no good for either party. My culinary teacher, Mr. Kofu, did tell me to put more of myself into my baking after all. I think I may try conducting battles in more of my own style from now on. If trainers complain that the Cortando gym is suddenly more difficult, I'll just tell them that not all pastries are sweet. Goodbye for now, I hope to see you again someday. Hmm. Fair enough, you know, not all pastries are sweet, some are spicy or bitter. Zoom out. Hmm, I can pound it up again. I actually. She's sure she's interesting. Getting a little, a little stuck there, huh? Now, I think there's one more Pokeball thing to do. Let's go see what we got in the surprise trade. Just the, 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 the full thing. All right, Dowerstone. Wow, what username? Dowerstone. Huh. A Charmander. I thank you. I will. Thanks. Thank you. That's great stats, that's best, best. Let's work on the special defense, but nothing that can't be changed. Awesome! Hmm. The minis are so slow due to the, uh... there then. Go 
think this mountain would appease the shrine off to the left, not to the right. care of that. Stick crumbled and vanished. And bam, there. Alright, well as we look out over the horizon, we'll call it quits there. And I think that gonna be it for Pokemon then. We've got to witness the ending, got to see all the main stuff in it. I think all the all the other stuff's kind of just ancillary at this point, so didn't complete complete too much else other than just hanging out and having fun with the game and a great game series that's you know been around for a long while and it's no mistake that Pokemon has been around as long as it has and is one of the largest IPs in the world, if not the second largest. If not the largest. So it says a lot. So alright that's not quite it for this week yet, though. There should be some streaming tomorrow with Toon. So, uh, we haven't fully decided what's going to be streamed yet, but, you know, we'll be on that. I would expect a lot of the, uh, all the usuals. You know, maybe there's some sort of, you know, co-op games. There's more multiplayer uh, party games and all that. We'll see, we'll see. So, keep your eye out for what's coming up next week. Hopefully see you guys tomorrow. And have, if I don't see you, have a fantastic great weekend. Uh, go get all that you need done. Relax if you've got it all done. You know, take some time off or some time on. But overall, have at it. Have at it with the best that you can. So, stay hydrated during it. I thank you as always for tuning in. And thank you for joining me on this modern Pokemon adventure. It's been a lot of fun. So, I hope to see you all again. Sometime soon. Have a good one, Yins. Take care. See you.